next couple weeks. And yeah, it'll be funny. Not only that, it'll but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally but fucking will... earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. But as far as leaked qual, a lot of people are asking questions about it. That's my official statement. Is it could drop now, it could drop tomorrow, it could drop a week from now, and I mean feel free to get worried about it, Max. I, it could drop it could drop any time. <laughs> Um, listen, when you have all the cards in your hand, you don't always have to overextend, okay? You slide, awesome. you easily fuck. I don't, I don't feel pressured to post anything. Who knows? I personally don't feel very pressured. Um, a little slide, more homework easily fuck. before I run through donos again. Um, I am planning on dropping a video... That I've I'm I'm not I worked on it a little bit today, but I'm officially working on it on Sunday. Uh, I have like a 20 30 minute Slide thing I want to do. Fuck. And the plan is to have that for next weekend, or more realistically, early the following weekend, with most of the work taking place next weekend and this weekend. Um. After that, the the big the big next move is I'm going back to the video I was making before Max bothered me which I think is going to be a fairly big video. I, I'm actually kind of annoyed that I was taken away from it. Um, obviously not so much now, given how this is gone. But it was really annoying that people were getting... Like, I, I, dude, I was really frustrated for a while because I always had, like, the Ico Edwin stuff. And then, like, Max is, like, up my ass... And that was why I kind of came out and I'm like, all right, I'm going to get all this done in like January 1st and 2nd so I can post this fucking big video that I wanted to make. And it has just spiraled. And like the first 19 days of my year were consumed with Max and Edwin, even though Edwin is now kind of a secondary topic. In the very beginning, that was the really annoying one. It was just Edwin, Edwin, Edwin. So I had these two lingering 2023 problems that I wanted to get rid of. And the like basically... Again, I mean, this is very obvious, but I didn't want to do all this Mac stuff. I didn't want to make the stream. I didn't want to hear about the fucking situation. I, I didn't want to fucking make the video. I didn't want to make the second stream. I didn't want to fucking make this stream talking about it. Now, I'm very happy with how it ended, but it wasn't something I was actively looking to do. I, ho I hope that makes sense. Um, like, my comeback video was never Mama Max. That wasn't what I had in mind. Um, and I think part of the reason why the video is so, like, good is it's just straight up me just getting all of my aggression out for how much these people have annoyed me over the past month and just pointing it all in Max's direction. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I, I feel like that probably is a contributing factor to why it was so good. <laughs> but, no, I have a project that I want to put out. So I have a video that I'm working on um, that I had a pretty cool idea for, and I'm going to do that next week. Uh, I say tentatively next week. It could pro it could, it's probably going to bleed into the following week. And then after that, Keemstar has given me my masters. I'm like literally Taylor Swift, but only I didn't have to re-record them. Um, so I have a video coming out at the end of January. Uh, following that, the next two weeks, I think on like probably Tuesday or Sunday, I'll be re-releasing the two Keemstar drama alert documentaries on my channel. Fuck. So... That two-week span, I'm aware these videos aren't going to get 100,000, 200,000 views because they've already existed, but they're two years old. So some people probably... I, probably a certain percentage of my audience probably hasn't seen them. But my, but anyways, I don't know. It's my videos. They're main channel worthy. They belong in my backlog. They're going on my channel. So I'm going to use those as bridges, which gives me time to work and finish the bigger project that I've been working on since December. Um, cause I have a really super cool concept for a video and I feel like, um, I don't think anyone's taken this angle on it yet and I'm pretty invested in that. And I've been pretty invested for like months on this fucking topic. So I'm pretty excited. Um, donos, donos, donos. Uh, we have Stefan Corbino with 10 Canadian. Thank you so much, Stefan. Um, I remember back in the day when we thought you were a Stephanie and then we found out you would make a coffee YouTube channel. Uh, imagine making a contract with Nicholas Diorio to have him review your case live for 10 hours and end up on the opposite side of a proper Diorio bomb. Homie, you ran circles around Batman. I think that's like the... Dude, that's like the Achilles heel of this whole situation. Is like, I just wanted to be lazy and play pinball. And then I literally came in and steel-chaired the guy because he wouldn't leave me alone. 
I mean, there's more to it than that, obviously. That's a pretty oversimplistic version of it. But I'm, again, if he didn't, like, beg me to cover all this video, I never would have caught him. Slimy, weasley fuck. You know what I mean? I don't... So, Tommy called me today, and he goes, Dude, I don't understand this. Why do people keep calling you? It's been years. And I fucking chewed his ear out. I'm like, I didn't fucking record Mac when, Max without his consent, okay? I went in there with the assumption that everyone knew that we were recording, because Mudahar told me that we were all recording the call so i went in there with the understanding that this was an okay thing that i do needless to say i mean max records every call he's in which is why i don't like to jump on calls with some of these people i know it's hypocritical but i don't want to put myself out there if you're stupid enough to get in a call with me when you did something wrong that's your fault um but yeah i mean it wasn't like I fucking went in there and I John swanned him. He knew the recorder was on. He said all of that stuff knowing that there'd be a record of it. That's probably making it worse a little bit. For, I, maybe I should have specified that in the video. Like, when he was saying all the stuff that he said in his fucking... In that fucking call, he knew I had a recorder on. Dude. <laughs> That's so You think he'll try to clip chimp me? Dude, what could you clip chimp harder than... All of my fucking investigations. <laughs> you should just assume that most of my stuff is fake. I'm, what could he clip, dude? I, bro, I, I got all my bases covered, dude. There's nothing. There's nothing here, <laughs> bro. This guy was praising me for my zap tie coverage. There's not even any low blows he can throw. It's over. It's <laughs> Believe me, dude. This guy was sucking my dick about the solid Shibe coverage. I told Shibe about it, and he came out and disavowed him. There is nowhere to go from here, man. Oh, God. There's nothing. What's he going to do? Clip him picture? Dude, if he releases... Call, like, uh, first of all, I'm leaking the call. Like, that, again, I, that's, that's happening. But, like, let's say he releases a thing of me yelling at him. My audience would love that. <laughs> Wait, wait, if he releases a call of me yelling at him, which I mean, I, it, I basically all of the clips of me yelling at him are practically out there. I don't think there's anything super valuable in the call. I, I, uh, I intentionally, anything that like that I thought my audience would like were the things I put in the QR code. Um, but like if he put out something where I'm like completely shitting on him and my, my people would be happy. That's what they want. There's nowhere to go, dude. This is over. Like <laughs> It's been over. I got normies watching this story saying that this guy should never come back to YouTube, dude. What the fuck? Like, it's so done. Uh, that's why I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't care. Uh, I understand for you guys, some of the people watching, you probably just found me three days ago. And for you, this is like a brand new story. And for a lot of drama viewers, it, like, especially from Mudahar's channel, there's like a million people who watched that video and they're just hearing about this guy now. But for us... This has been like a month. Fuck. This has been a boring fucking month. For me on streams, it's been like two weeks, but this guy's been fucking annoying me since November. Um, so like for Chud's viewers, they've been watching this for a month now and they're like burnt out on it. But I guess like there's a second wave coming and all the mainstream guys are covering this story. Um, people are now making videos on Spencer. I mean, normally I would say like... I mean, that's pr Not maybe you that, shouldn't, but, but like, here too. this fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Like, I don't know, dude, my sympathy for Spencer hit zero when she started pushing the lawsuit thing. Like you could see all the other fucking survivors in the chat. Not only that, but I'm are, a shame are referring this back to fucking shit, Spencer fucking earlier said I'm oozing and they're with just estrogen. like, no, this doesn't help our case or whatever. And Max is like, dude, my chat GPT skills can like get us a million dollars. All right. We'll just collect a million dollars for pass and go and start an international five year lawsuit it really felt like when i was reading that it was like oh okay so they just want money and it's by any means necessary so even if camden doesn't pay mudahar will and that's her that's her justice is not being poor i guess because i i don't know why else you'd make your fucking homeless assistant survivor the fucking financial advisor all right dude not the stock channels on youtube don't want to be known as a financial advisor and this motherfucker made his fucking survivor the financial advisor like what the fuck dude um shiloh was way worse than spencer oh oh dramatically 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 worse than spencer yeah i don't know i mean people are gonna that's the thing is what i told max in the call is that like You've created a situation where the only thing I can talk about... Oh, by the way, check this out. Check this out. Check oh, wait. Oh, I'm not showing my gameplay. Fuck. Check this out. Check this out, chat. Check it. Check it. Oh, that's not the right one either. 
Check this out. Check this out. So when I get in this, it changes to a huracan. Dude, Peter Griffin is riding in a fucking huracan. Cody Oreo in the item shop. What was I saying? Um, he had Spencer admit to crimes in his video. I know. I know. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. Spencer admitted to luring a child into the cult. Well, not into the cult, because I guess they escaped, but potentially got raped anyway. <sighs> yeah, that's I mean, that's a wild fucking thing to put in your... Oh, boy. Uh, what a genius. I mean, Max doesn't know how to catch predators. Max doesn't know what CSAM hashes are, and he doesn't know what he can and can't put in, in a... Uh, Again, I, 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 I don't know. He doesn't know what he can put in a fucking mega folder. This guy doesn't go to the cops. He he, he goes, the cops don't listen to me. Why? Because, well, uh, so I put on my leggings and I sent my ass to a pedophile and told him I was 14. And then he jerked off to it. And I just, I don't know why he isn't arrested and going to jail right now. This guy's a total fucking retard. Like an absolute fucking dumbass. Like it's, he's actually maliciously retarded. He's probably retarded and malicious. That's like it's a rare combination of someone who's like genuinely malicious and also retarded. Usually it's it's like one or the other. Is this guy malicious or retarded? But in this case, he's probably, he's probably both. Um, bro, you could see his hairy arm in the ass pick. I dude, no one says the pedophiles are smart. The guy's name, the pedophile's name was Vin Diesel on Discord. You know. Um, <clears throat> confusing opinion. Damn you, Nicole. Thank you for the 10. Oh, fuck. All right. Thank you for all these donos. Jesus. Um, seven new members already. Fuck me. Dude, I thought I was getting less donos, and I'm like, what? what the fuck is happening? And then the members came in, and I was like, oh, there's the other half of my money. Holy shit, dude. So for some reason, I just found out that memberships don't calculate in the chat revenue section. So you only find out after the stream how much you made because like gifted memberships are such an awesome feature on YouTube and like they don't calculate. So you have no idea how much you're making. Uh, fuck me. Dude, that's sick. Um, speaking of gifted membership or well, regular membership, we got optimal DDP Strickland. Oh, you know what? I'm so excited to watch UFC. I just I had to miss the last card uh, for some fucking YouTube thing. Oh, that was uh, yeah. I can't that, wait. I think Strickland. Too, this fat piece of I think shit Strickland for sure. Fucking earlier said I'm losing um, with estrogen. Brooke A five ninety uh, four ninety nine. I'm pressuring you, Nick. <laughs> Passion seventy six PJ two Australian. That was a brilliant video, Nick. Thank you so much. Uh, B Marie two dollars. Will you debate Andrew Wilson? He already said. What? Is that a joke? Wait, who the fuck is Andrew Wilson? Is that Big Papa fascist? What? Andrew Wilson. Is this a joke? Are you wait, am I getting trolled right now? What the fuck does Big Papa Fascist want to debate me on? Been watching for a while. I wanna hear the fat shaming clip. Oh <laughs> After that debate, Jackie Wilson. Wait, can someone in chat tell me if this is real? I don't know. I don't. Uh, send me a fucking send, tweet me if it's real and send me send me the tweet. Um, Turner Bout, thank you for the new membership. Ellington Moose, thank you for the new membership. Quantum Frankie Theory, all right. Thank you guys so much for becoming members and any gifted members we've gotten so far. Uh, Max changed his legal name so no one could find his police records. LMFAO, he thought we wouldn't find out. So from what I understand, uh, based on how that works, I don't know if that's true. Maybe it makes it a little harder, but all your police records change to your current name, I believe. Maybe not like, like when you're pulling records or whatever uh, from like those database sites, I'm 99% sure your name changed as long as it's done officially and legally. Uh, we'll still pull up those things. Uh, Max just made a police report. Are you kidding me? Wait, really? Um, what did he make the police report on the the uh, the rape that happened uh, a couple days ago to him on YouTube.com from the channel Nicholas Dior? <laughs> Oh, 
Dude, the grape just dropped. Crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Tipster's watching? Wait, is Tipster streaming my fucking video? Dude, does he want to chat about it? No, he's not. There's no way Tipster would watch me on stream. Am I getting debated again? He's not even live. Okay. No, he would never. He would never. I wish. Dude, that'd be so funny. That'd be such content. Dude, I had to put a disclaimer. So you know why Mama Max put the chat GPT disclaimer? If you use AI for anything in your video, you have to clearly put it in the thing. Uh, that's per YouTube's TOS. So Max has to fucking admit that he used chat GPT to write his scripts or the videos can be taken down. Supposedly. I didn't know that. Um tipsters live on kick that's so funny again i am super duper sorry i'm so low energy let me just tell you about my week because i feel like i need to complain oh my god wait i don't have a gun what the fuck am i doing holy shit dude what am i fortniting right now fuck me bro oh fuck wait hold on all right give me fucking drinks dude oh christ okay i'm gonna kill this guy with what i have here oh, i like the pistol get out here where are you little fucker what in the fuck? Yeah, yeah, you, you tried to come after me with my my signature pistol. What a fucking idiot, dude. What a fucking idiot. Didn't even get a shot on me. Uh, oh, random thought I had. Max donated the 10 Gs to a GoFundMe for tax purposes. Well, if it did happen that way, I don't think it worked. Because, I mean, it got taken down. That whole thing got fucking... Dude, that literally... This guy tried to come out and get ahead of the video and drop a GoFundMe. That shit was banned before my ass woke up that morning. And I was only sleeping for like four hours. So some some real crazy shit had to have gone down, dude. That was crazy. You're not Fortniting drunk? Don't know what to blame. No, I'm not drunk. I'm just exhausted. So slimy weasley fuck. Just the uh so this is what happened. I think it was like Thursday night. I keep telling everybody Thursday, because that's what I think, but I don't remember for sure. Initially I was making a video with the Mudahar interview. Okay. Uh, the interview that we conducted with Mudahar Slimey, on this channel, fuck. and it ended up coming out, but it didn't. It was just, it was supposed to be like um, uh, two minutes of commentary. Think of the flamenco video where it's like five minutes of backstory commentary and then just a straight up stream clip vod, right? So I'd edited the video and I'd put that five minute section in there, but that five minute section became ten minutes, and then I showed it to somebody and they go, "Why are you doing this?" I go, "What do you mean? Why am I doing this?" Why did you just edit a 10 minute fucking segment that would be Slimey on your main channel fuck. with fucking transitions and everything and, and all this stuff on it? Why are you doing this to yourself? Why don't you just fucking make the main channel video? And I was like, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. So I delayed uploading the uh, interview and I posted the two streams because um, it took me about a day from to write, record and edit that 10 minute segment. Um, and the 10 minute segment that I'm talking about ended up being the 10 minute overview section, uh, from the beginning of the video. That's why I like, it doesn't start really until the 11 minute mark is the 10 minutes where I explain all the ongoing parts of the investigation. I do like all the teasers for what the rest of the video is. I use that as a structure. So it was like, I have this 10 minutes now. How do I make this into a longer video? And I started from there. Um, and that's what I did. So then from there, I, I split it up into three parts about Camden, two parts about uh, past investigations, um, a conclusion, and then uh, I, I was... Oh, yeah. The other thing, the big deciding factor is the call happened after I recorded that 10-minute section, which is why I'm talking about like, oh, he might not have gotten that guy arrested or something in the first 10 minutes because that whole section was recorded, edited, and put into the project before the call had even happened. So it kind of worked out in my favor where it looked like I was teasing something, but I just genuinely didn't know uh, at that point in time when it was recorded. After that, it was just a sl it was a slog. Like the writing was super easy. The script I think is super good. I think that's like probably one of my best scripts I've ever written in terms of uh, some people complain about clips being overly played, but I think that like the interview clip being played three times in the video, once in the beginning, once in the middle, and once during the climax of the video, uh, I think is important. I think that like you need that follow through to kind of track the story. Otherwise, you lose bits and pieces. Uh, there were some things maybe I played a bit too much, but honestly, in this one, I think I I was fairly measured in that regard. Um, and then, yeah, no, so I started doing this. I recorded it. 
uh, I got the uh, the clips that I wanted. I, I sat there for a day showing some clips to people, Smaggle Daggle and stuff like that, and seeing what I thought hit the best. Uh, made sure I clipped them a little bit longer so Max couldn't say he was taken out of context. Um, spoke to Mudahar. Mudahar wanted to delay. I wanted to delay. We delayed a day. Came back. He didn't hit the deadline. I did, and then I posted him. After he he said I could, but yeah, that was kind of what happened. I'd always planned to come on stream and tell everybody that we weren't dropping the video because, um, again, sorry if anyone felt like they were misled or something, but my channel is dead. Like my main channel is fucking dead. It's been two years. I bled two thousand subs. Like it was, it's it's a dead fucking channel. So I needed some way so I would have like normal numbers in the first few minutes so the video would perform well. So I thought, okay, I'll just do a stream here. And then I'll swing the entire stream into the main channel and it'll reactivate my channel. Um, and it worked like dramatically, like ridiculously, like to levels I couldn't have predicted. Um, this is by far and be like, there's other factors here. Keem shouted me out, Mudahar collab with me. Uh, but even before Muda's video dropped, like this was my top performing video of all time. Like it was an instant one out of 10. And it, it is like, in comparison to other videos that I've had perform and get like 400,000 views on the channel over time, it's currently about 140,000 views ahead of anything at that point. So thank you guys so much for your tremendous support. And when I say tremendous support, I literally mean that. I left the internet for two years and I came back and it this has eclipsed any accomplishment that I've done um, since I started my channel. And I made it in a week after not being here for two years. Um, it's, it, it is not lost on me how fucking crazy that is and how much, um, how much people have supported me through me not posting and announcing projects and not following through with them and announcing projects and then teasing projects and then posting parts of projects and not releasing them and stuff like that. And when I posted, everyone was still there and they were still down to watch. Uh, which was fucking crazy, and I never could have predicted that at all. Um, yeah. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Fuck. It was a pretty cool thing that happened. I'm very appreciative of every single one of you. Um, it was one thing to come back to streaming and hit some of my peak numbers and stuff like that and immediately quadruple my viewership the second I came from Twitch, uh, but it was another thing to revive the main channel and I think this is the first time in like ever where both of the channels are live like at once at like one given time. I don't think when I was doing main the second channel was lit like ever. Uh, so fuck me, dude. That is fucking crazy. Um, we're getting sponsorship emails like potentially uh, next week's video might have a sponsor in it, which is insane. That I got emails from fucking people. Like from from agencies and stuff like that because I use the booking email. That's always how I've gotten sponsors, except for the brief time that I was like in LFM or whatever, and I got the gambling thing. But like people were immediately shooting to give me like NordVPN or fucking Raid Shadow Legends or shit like that, like immediately, which was hilarious. Um, so the plan is again video. Um, trying to get it out on the weekend of next week, but it might push back further. Uh, but that the unfortunate aspect of that is uh, we're probably not going to be able to do three streams next week like we did when we weren't posting on main before. Uh, I'll try to keep at least one stream per week, even if it's sort of low energy like this where I'm just fucking exhausted. But yeah, this video took a lot out of me to make. Um, I'm not, I, I, there was a 12 hour there was a 12 hour editing point where I sat down and I edited until like th two, three in the morning or something like that. And then I went to sleep and I woke up and I had a shift at eight o'clock the next morning. Um, and then once I was done with my shift, I edited again until like three o'clock in the morning. Um, so there has not been, uh, this is probably going to be my first night's sleep since the video released. And I don't expect to wake up tomorrow until two, three o'clock. Um, and it, and you know, honestly, it feels so fucking good, dude. Oh, I do. You know how many years it's been since I've been on the YouTube sleep schedule? Do you know how, how long it's been? since I was exhausted at 10 a.m. <laughs> I know it just it's so stupid, but it just it just feels back, I guess. I just feel back. <laughs> I just feel good, you know? I don't know. I've been I'm having a good time right now. Um 
and I'm balance like I mean I'm balancing work, I'm balancing the channel, I'm balancing two channels right now, and it is working on the short term, and I didn't think that would happen, so yeah, let's see what we can do from here. Let's Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said. <laughs> you know what's funny is we did the first stream of the year. Um, when I had 67,000 main channel subs and I, I told everyone, I go, I, you know what? My plan this Not year, only that, but I'm gonna I would love this fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. I think I said, I would love to hit 30,000 on the streaming channel and a hundred thousand on the main. And everyone was like, oh yeah, you're going to fucking put 40,000 subs on your main Not channel that, this year. Not only that, but I'm going to fat shame here too. This fat um, piece of shit literally fucking earlier <laughs> said I'm oozing with estrogen. And everyone's estrogen. like, yeah, you're not going to even upload, Nick. There's no way you're going to get 40,000 subs on your main fucking channel. And... I mean, dude, we're at 72,000 already. Not only that, but I'm going to fat shame here, too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing. And there's like a good chance we're going to be at 73,000 tomorrow. So, I, dude, do you understand? So I hit 69,000 two that, years ago. Not only that, but I'm going to fat shame here, too. This right? fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier and said I'm oozing. And then I'll stop talking about numbers. I'm just going to glaze myself for like two more minutes, and then I'll stop talking about numbers. But... Oh, how many people are here? Fuck me, dude. I'm gonna just start whacking everybody. Whack, 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 whack. Okay, cool. Oh my god, what is happening, bro? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go through gifts. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here, too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Holy shit. What the fuck? All right, we got like 20 minutes of donos coming right now. Let me just run this. I'll run through donos super fast because they're just going to... Not only that, but I'm going to fat shame like here too. This fat piece of shit they literally fucking going. earlier said Holy I'm losing with estrogen. Um, let me see. Ellington Moose, thank you for becoming a member. Quantum Frankie Theory, thank you for becoming a member. Not only that, but I'm going to fat shame I asked him if he'd debate you. He said yes. Fucking earlier said why? I'm losing with estrogen. Wait, why did you ask him if he'd debate me? What are we debating about? What's wrong with you? What the fuck? Uh, that, Dior, I love your Mama Max coverage. Shit, you should convince Augie to do after hours. I wish, bro. That's the one thing this is missing. It's felt like 2019 all over again. By the way, I'm ultra instinct right now. This is God. This has to be a bot while I'm reading these donuts. Not only that, but I'm going to fat um, shame here, oh, random thought i think max don't the 10 g for tax yeah i read that I'm one will you be streaming to pal worlds i don't know what pal worlds is thank you i don't know for gifted five memberships stefan corbino with five canadian people are saying you might be back nick that, are you I'm back i'm thinking i'm back literally cats a flock in with 20 gifted with thank you so much b marie thank you for the two discord screenshots of andrew wilson accepting uh the confusing opinion just dropped another 10 gifted dude i'm Not ultra that, instinct I'm peter griffin this, this is shit, unbelievable bro are you joking like, how fucking terrible is this? am i beating up a child right now holy shit did you fucking like did you see we just ran through all the donos not only that but i'm gonna fat shame here too this fat holy piece of shit, shit literally fucking earlier said i'm oozing with estrogen dude what the fuck was that that was like the worst thing i've ever seen bro not only that but i'm gonna fat shame here too this fat piece of shit literally um, fucking earlier said i'm oozing with estrogen colton what is this Max's up plan to steal millions from Mudahar is falling apart as his Discord server. Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame yeah, I saw this all that fat stuff. piece of shit literally fucking earlier said <sighs> I'm losing with estrogen. In due time, young ones. In due time, we'll talk about all that stuff. Um, I, I think you're trolling me. What is this? Not only that, but I'm gonna fat Is this like a long-standing troll shit, on Andrew? Literally like fucking Andrew earlier Wilson? said I'm losing with estrogen. I'm, nobody tweeted anything at me. I'm checking my Twitter. Not only that, Nothing but I'm gonna fat shame here. And you this can't piece of send shit. me stuff Literally on Discord. Literally, fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Pinball content when, bro, bro. I gotta figure this thing out. That I do want to do that at some point. Not only that, but I'm I, I was blown here. away by how many pinball shit. related Literally comments came through. Literally, fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. <laughs> I came here to relax. I'm hearing Hassan's voice. Yeah, I have to figure out this stuff. It only needs to play once when we get gifted, but. Uh, Not only that, but I'm oh gonna fat God. shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. So, uh, just to again to glaze myself a little bit more, um, we lost two thousand subs that, but I'm gonna in fat two years. Too. This fat uh, maybe not two thousand. Fucking earlier said I I'm think I dropped from sixty nine point one to sixty seven point five, and dude. When I dropped under 68 Not after being that, at 68 for like a year, that literally sucked. fucking earlier I was said like, I'm oozing uh, with estrogen. That's shit. Anyways, before we when we announced the video and swung people to the channel, 
before the video dropped, I was already like almost that, back to 69k. Fat, fat piece of shit. Literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. And then we hit we hit 70 like instantly, and now we're at 72. So, uh, I, I moral of the story is I do think that not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame It is too. possible fat piece of shit to hit. Literally fucking oh God, earlier I'm so dead. said I'm oozing I'm so with dead. estrogen. I'm so dead. Yeah, it is possible to hit 100k this year. Um. Is that who that is? Yeah, this is Hassan Pikers. That's my donation. Not only that, but I'm going to over a million now. Yeah, it's so old. Literally right fucking now. earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Dude, when Destiny said like, yeah, dude, this guy's irredeemable, I knew it was over. Like when somebody... Wait, what? You slimy, weasley fuck. Copyright matches found. Review people using your content. Dude, they send you a notification now if somebody steals my shit? Oh, let's fuck some... You guys want to fuck somebody up tonight? Oh, who are we fucking up tonight, chat? Who are we fucking up tonight? Oh, we're fucking somebody up tonight. Who reposted something? Nah, that's plenty. Oh, let me see. Descending. What? What? Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This what? piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. What is this? We're defending Susie Lou Not now. only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. What is this? Dude, whenever people use my shit, I can find their videos now. Um, Date. Let's sort by Not date. only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. What is this? Oh, I guess we use the Not same only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit. All right, who the fuck is still sending? Losing with estrogen. How many times is? Did I miss a dono? Why is his son still talking? James the Frog, thank you so much. Would you rather Aiden's son or Siley's? What the fuck? Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This what? fat piece of shit literally fucking what? earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Dude, if Susie Lou came back, that would just be fucking nuclear. Um. Dude, Saggy Melons has 10% of my Andy Samuel Not only that, video. but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Dude, it says that 10% of Optimus's most viewed videos compilation is my content. Should we hit him? Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. <laughs> what is happening? This is just Hassan Piker yelling. Why is Hassan calling me fat, dude? What's going on? Five more gifted from I don't Not know. Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Yeah, oh, I, I'm very relaxing to see a Willie Mac upload and not have it be about Mama Max. Hey, dude, I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Let me explain that, what I'm happened. Fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit as soon as the donuts stop. Earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. As soon as the donuts stop. Hold on. As soon as the donuts stop, we'll explain it. Okay. Not okay. only that, but I'm fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Okay. You slimy, weasley <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Hold on, Doc on the radio. What is this? Mama Max ranting about moist critical in a leaked call. You I can slimy, literally weasley what? fuck. But I am being the nicest I could be. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally cancel you. What the fuck? Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame her too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. What? What? Oh no! It makes me sad doing this. It makes me sad Not only that, doing this. I'm gonna fat shame her too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm. But oozing I am with being estrogen. the nicest I could be. Try I could literally cancel you, Chuck. All right, that has to be clipped. I don't Not trust that, Slug. But I'm gonna fat shame here too. This I don't trust Slug. Shit. I need literally a full... Dude, maybe this sounds like a fucking... From somebody who's literally... the nicest I could be. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally that, cancel you. This fat piece of shit. It, like, it's the truth. Like, said I'm, oozing I'm the friggin' pedo hunter. Like...
not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat. No, this that's out of context. Earlier There's no way he him. said that. There is no fucking way. And I choose not. I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally cancel you. And I choose not to. <laughs> Wait, he's laughing. He's joking. This is this is out of context. No, there's no fucking way. It's true though. It like it's the truth. Like, All right, then he like I'm the friggin' pedo hunter. Like, no, that's not real. <sighs> Kowalski analysis. Kowalski analysis. Can somebody get forensics on this? What's happening? What is happening? Hold on. Wait. Are you live? Hello? Are you live? Oh. Rip. Okay, I can't go on that call. It's got too many people. Dude, I can't believe that. I think the dumbest thing that Mama Max did was work with Angry Slug. And I li we literally warned him, dude. We actually, like, that's another aspect of this that's so insane to me. Is we literally warned him. I told everyone that this guy literally dumped all of my DMs for no reason, like, two weeks before this, and then begged me for a job. That was all I said about Slug, is that he's an untrustworthy fucking loser. And he just dumped everything. I, dude, like, this is insane. Uh, another part, Max goes on about CoffeeZilla and how he wants 15 minutes. That's the thing is, like, we everyone warned him that this guy was, like, a fucking gutter rat. And that's, like, what Angry Slug is. So, like, I don't want to give him any clout here. But, unfortunately, because he's a gutter rat and he somehow managed to weasel his way into more content, um, I, I, I have to. But, like, holy fuck, can this guy just be excommunicadoed? Like... I'm going to be honest here. Uh, a lot of people, got, there are still people who are mad at me for not sucking four finger cunts fucking toenails or whatever after she disavowed Salvo. Like with the Austin No Powers guy or Slide and like easily the CJ Brown syndrome guy, uh, the fucking, I don't, I don't even remember. What is four finger lady named or whatever? Like when they, when they all did the right thing or whatever, they're, they're just like, they turned on Salvo. They expected to be like taken in with open Slide arms and everyone was going to be fuck. like, Oh, dude, you did so good. You you did the bare minimum to... Yeah, Clara. Like, everyone was... Like, dude, th there are people who still hate me because I essentially went on stream and said all those people are fucking losers and don't talk to them and I'm not interacting with people who interact with them. And it, like, fucked them <laughs> entirely and, like, their their barrier of entry to the community was destroyed. But, like, can we, do, can we do the same thing with Slug? Like, why the fuck is that guy even adjacent to anything we do here? Like, oh, wow, you did the bare minimum. You exposed Mama Max. Like, you're literally one of the worst people around. <laughs> I cannot stand you. <laughs> like, I, I do not care. Like, I, I will take your stuff. I will credit you. Thank you so much. But, like, can we not let him around anything like this again? And can people take our advice next time? Because, holy shit, dude, does this guy suck, bro? Fuck me. I know how you feel about Claire. The Red Pagan person's name is Nicole. Oh, God. I thought people were making that up, that Red Pagan was named Nicole. Because, like, oh, it's just female Nick or something. Because every fat trans person is me, apparently. <laughs> and, um... Fucking... Yeah, I don't know. It was, uh... It's actually fucking the person's name. That is, like, one of the most retarded individuals I've ever seen. Um... I don't know. I didn't want to put them anywhere near the video because I'd feel weird about it because they're still too kind of too small of a YouTuber to fuck over on my main channel. But like, I don't know. I got to watch now, though. I don't take responsibility for my audience or anything, but I do kind of got to acknowledge that we're now streaming to 750 people instead of 200 on Twitch and that like things will be scrutinized more if I do it here. I still treat my chat like it's 200 people, and that's a mistake for sure, but it's funny because, like, everyone says Twitch is a place where you can't say as much, but I isolated myself with a smaller community, and I could say anything I wanted. No one was flagging me. Here, it's not really the case. If I pull up, like, an, an accidental fucking, like, 
nude picture of somebody's face what is somebody's face nude picture of somebody's face good one nick if i accidentally like if, if i go on twitter and like justin wang posts a cock on my feed i'll probably take a fucking strike for that on this platform uh screenshot from b marie qual quals me uh -huh. Nice. Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. I'm not getting. There's nothing in my replies for me. Let's see. What is this? I'm the pedo hunter. Do this. Yeah. Slimy, yeah. weasley, fuck. Yeah, it's very embarrassing. Uh, sad Keanu, thank you for becoming a new member. Um, Transmaggle, five dollars. Really awesome of Tipster to fight till the end on to, by Tommy's side, despite the insane pushback Max's fans gave him. <laughs> Dude, oh man, that was like my moment where my jaw hit the floor on this fucking story. Is when Tipster stole and valored everything. Like Max got dishonorably discharged, and I think Tipster should be dishonorably discharged from like being a content creator for that one. Holy shit, dude, was that fucking embarrassing? That guy is just a walking embarrassment. I don't know how he wakes up in the morning. Genuinely. Fuck me, dude. Queeman? Is Queeman here? Queeman. Everyone's saying Queeman. Oh, Queeman raided! Queeman raid! Thank you. Thank you. We we're actually here for the... I have uh, 700 people here for the gameplay. Um, it, And I, I died again. Cool. You have to make that dono a sound effect? Hmm. I don't know. Here's five. Hoping you change the dono sound. It's annoying. Yeah, we need a new dono. Um, I have plenty of clips of people saying fucking rude shit to me, but who knows? Um, let me see what I have on my soundboard. I have Tommy dropping the hard R on my soundboard. Oh, let me, uh, who just joined the server? Technically, I have a Discord server, but I mean, no one uses it, so I wouldn't even bother. But um, I, every all year, I feel like do not have a Discord server, and my stupid ass has had a Discord server for like a really long time. Um, but like, I just make sure it's dead because it's safer having a dead Discord server than being around a bunch of fucking degenerates do stupid stuff and then it falls on me like what happened to Tom. Um, dude, I love this. It's I've separated it by sound effects so I can go on people's streams. So I have the It's Time one, I have the O, and then I have the Ultimate Rape Review sound. Did you see the messages in Max's Discord about Moody? Yes, I did. Yeah, we well, talked about that a little bit, but... Um, I mean, Max is a total fucking loser. Like, a total fucking complete... Do I... I don't know if I'm, I don't know if 2024 is the year that we're still going to use that phrase, but um, Max is being a real homosexual right now. <laughs> How's that sound? Is that better? Um, he's not going to sue anybody. All his shit's written by fucking ChatGPT. I didn't sign a stupid thing, so I can drop whatever I want. And it wouldn't affect Mudahar. Um, and either way, like he's not going to start a fucking international Slimey lawsuit to get fuck. into a five-year fucking case. Uh, it was probably literally something that like a, a single lawyer could get Mudahar out of. Um, would have fucking. I mean, this is why nobody wanted to sign his gay little fucking NDA. There were two Slimey NDAs: Weasley the NDA fuck. that expired when videos were released, and the indefinite NDA that was ongoing until the end of the Camden case. And if you signed that fucking NDA, you're a total idiot because this was a total like. I'm not signing an NDA to go read evidence to find out there's a second server that has the super evidence or whatever, or second chat room in the server that you're not allowed to see even if you sign the fucking NDA. Like, I, fuck me, dude. All this is retarded. I genuinely think, if there are any girls who have legitimately been harmed by Camden or anyone else in that Discord server, and they've been taken to town by this fucking shyster, holy fuck do I, I hope those people get help. I, I think Mudahar has been offering, I've spoken to Mudahar privately, he seems pretty gung-ho about trying to do something about this, but fuck me, would it be funny if Mudahar cleans up this Camden case before Max even has the opportunity to do something. I just think it's so fucking disgraceful. So disgraceful, dude. Uh, yeah, we're thinking we're actually gonna go criminal now. We need to raise a hundred thousand dollars. What do you need a hundred thousand dollars for to go to the police and do a criminal case? You yourself said it's the district attorney's job, dumb fuck. What do you need the money for? I'm just curious. 
they wanted a civil suit before, realized this guy's fucking broke, then went to criminal, and they just kept all the money? You can't ask for money in fucking November and decide what you're going to do with it in January. And everyone knew it was shady as fuck when you said you were going to go do this shit, right, on your fucking Patreon. That way there's no, like... Yeah, it should have been a GoFundMe from the beginning. I, like, he got a shit for doing the GoFundMe. It should have always have been a GoFundMe, dude. That literally should have been the main thing. But it wasn't. Um, and then when he did it, it looked like a fucking cash grab. Yeah. I don't think Nexpo... Nexpo is not going to vouch for him. Nexpo has started liking tweets against him by Mudahar. There is no fucking chance that Nexpo is going to turn around and be like, pro him. Um, he wanted the money to sue Muda. Yeah, I mean, fuck me ridiculous Keffels, we're gonna sue the police fuck you sue the police for what here's the other thing we're in the call with him and he starts saying like you need to be in the evidence server to see the public police reports suck dick dude what do you mean the i need to sign an nda to find a public police report you fucking freak Dude, and then they're like, oh, well, they're doxing all the survivors because you've given us nothing to work with. So people are looking for their name so they can look for a police report so they can find out what happened. That's what happens when you tell everyone nothing and just say there's a fucking pedophile on the loose, you fucking moron. You're literally, you, you lined Spencer up to be the highest level of scrutiny, which now I don't care about because it turns out she sucks. So I don't give Slide a fuck about her. Fuck. I'm going to be honest. I don't give a fuck about Spencer. After all that shit about suing Mudahar. Oh boy, dude. I hope you don't get a fucking dime. Jesus Christ. Fuck you. Uh, but like... For everyone else who's not like a total gung ho jackass, yeah, I don't know. And that's legitimate, dude. Like honestly, if something happened to her, and I genuinely believe she had a pretty fucking bad time with Camden, even if not all the shit like is fully tracked or whatever like that. Like, oh god, my 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 deepest darkest sympathies. But she's a grown adult now, and she's been out of there for five years, and she's acting like a real cunt in twenty twenty four. Um. So that's my stance on that. Really sorry for what happened to you, but you suck now. So, um, this whole Spencer thing is like, a, oh, I don't know. I'm not even, I didn't even bother looking into that. I don't care. Uh, the thing is the video wasn't about Spencer. That was the whole point is like, people are sending me all this stuff on Spencer. My job, my job wasn't to discredit Spencer as a witness not only that, but I'm gonna or like her too. This discredit her shit, as a victim or discredit her as a survivor. There's no, there's nothing to discredit because her story is spoken word testimony, uh, and we don't even know about like what the what happened to be honest, um, to what, what this guy's even really done. So like, my point was Max is fucking up the story, and when he comes around saying that we're like hurting victims or something, it'll be really funny because like, the only comment I made about Spencer is that this doesn't mean she's not lying. It just means that Max is fucking up. But now I'm pretty comfortable saying that in real time, like in 2024, she is a total fucking Not only that, but I'm going to fat shame her. Jackass. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. The victim supporting Mama Max doesn't help their case either. Well, it doesn't sound like there's much support there. I'm going to be honest. And I, dude, here's the thing. Like, I don't even want, I don't even like when you say that. Okay. Because these people were led astray. All right. Like someone is saying that they're going to financially back them to bring somebody to justice. I don't blame people for thinking that that person is helping them. Um, cause I mean, how many options do they really have? Most of these people are probably past their statute of limitations. If I had to guess, um, I, this guy claims to be some world renowned pedophile hunter who's been shouted out by every major YouTuber. Um, going into this, I don't, f I don't blame them for feeling like for being misled at all. Um, they're victims in this now and they might've been victims before, and, like, I think they'll eventually wisen up. I'd hope, dude. I'd really hope. But um, it's the people pushing for to take money out of Mudahar's pocket who's done nothing but try to help this investigation. That really, really just rubbed me the wrong way and really pisses me off, personally. Slimy, weasley fuck. Um... Exactly. Uh, the destruction of Max... That's an... Oh, and I want to... Was oh, that real Chud Logic or fake Chud Logic? Why are you not a moderator? Go to channel. Yeah, that's real Chud Logic. Let me make you a mod so you're blue. Standard mod. 
Cool. Hey, brother. The destruction of Mama Max is endless. This content will last us all year. Uh, oh, I don't know, man. I personally think I'm fairly done with this. Um, whenever I feel like Max has suffered enough and looked over his shoulder for enough days, then I'll drop the whole call. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. Might be next week. Might be next month. Whenever Max thinks there's a chance the story might blow over, then I'll drop the call. So... BRB gotta go record? Good luck, K-Huck. I can't... Is K-Huck a dude or a girl? I don't remember. Um... We have... James the Frog. Have you seen lyrics go over the emails of Magnetar's lawyer and Max? Uh, no. I I read them on Twitter. Yeah, they look like they're totally chat GPT. I think Destiny came to the same conclusion. I watched him read a, read a bunch of those today when he was covering my video. Heads up, if you do watch Red Pagan Corner, she speaks super quiet and then blasts the communist anthem at the end to own the haters. Watch your ears. Okay, can we just talk about Red Pagan Corner? Um, I have to word this in a way that's not going to get me in trouble, but they made a call to action to mass flag everyone's content, uh, and that is like wildly against YouTube terms of service. So, I don't, if you see anything like that, I, I don't know, just, I don't engage with that person. They're, like, not mentally stable, uh, and just avoid them at all costs, because it's not really worth activating some retard like that. Let them live their life. Sooner or later, doing stupid stuff like that's going to get them into a world of trouble anyway. Um, the thing is, Max uses them as a victim or whatever, because, like, anytime you cover a person like that, you're just going to get spam comments in your comment section about, like, transphobic shit and stuff like that. So don't let Max have a martyr on his team and fucking just drive the Spurg completely insane. It's probably just not worth the investment, you know? No, let's not do that, stick drip. Timing out. Not a call to action to do anything to anybody. He'll be back in a minute. Learn your lesson. Oh, I can tell you someone from whose own grandfather did law and who's had friends in NDA in law school, no lawyer or law student would write just to their client, uh, write their client's screen name. Yeah, I, I, the big thing Destiny pointed out was the Mama Max legal team, dude. Holy shit. The Mama Max legal team. Uh, Smaggle, I sent you another clip. All right, let me see. Who's DMing me now? Yeah, Jesus. Every fucking time I release a video, everyone just puts everything else out afterwards. That would have been nice. Vince Vintage. This video because I thought he was talking about me. <laughs> I thought Charlie's video about obsessed creeps was about me. I clicked this video because I thought he was talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just, are you okay? Are you sure? Why do I do this to me? Because I get it. Like, I get what I'm doing is creepy and obsessive. It is. Um, bro, send this guy to the shadow realm. I promised them I would not let them down, and I will not. I clicked this video because I thought he was talking about me. What a fucking psychotic freak, dude. That guy is a total psychotic freak. He let them down the minute he told them he could help. If we're being honest, he's got to be fake. Yeah, I, I wouldn't put it past Slug to give us AI shit to fuck with us now. I don't know. I don't buy a single thing he sends us, but. If that's real, it's pretty crazy, dude. He's not beating the schizo allegations? No, there was no, you couldn't beat it. Did you guys see the picture of Derek Chauvin? That with my face superimposed on it? That was a screenshot from his video. Fuck me, dude. Jesus Christ. I wonder what changed to make Slug turn on Max. He was pretty clear that he didn't care about any of this a few days ago. Yeah, Alex Gekmo is 100% right. I don't know why anyone would trust that guy. He didn't give, He had no moral qualms until until I put out my video and changed the entire... Um, like I, I, I literally... Me and Mudahar like, took this story and turned it on its head um, with that fucking leaked call. That Again, like I said this before, and it still drives me nuts that like... He knew that we were recording, and he still said all that, like, that shit. That's just like, wow. 
that's like a certain level of confidence that I've never seen before. To just lie like that when he knows that where he's being recorded. Like he's <laughs> what is wrong with you? Slug quit today? Yeah, who gives a fuck? Fuck that guy. Any chance we can get the tipster video since you're back to making videos? Um, so I think the tipster video would be a big hit with like you, probably like 800 viewers who are watching now, and maybe, maybe like, I mean, maybe it'd hit 100k. The thing is, it just feels like I'm beating like a retarded animal. I'll tell you right now, the thing with tipster, if he ever does anything again and gets exposed in any massive, like any, like controversial situation, um, yeah, I'll absolutely come down on him. It's literally just like, if Tipster has a bad week and he's in the news, like outside of our current community, yeah. Oh yeah, 100%. I'll be there in a couple days. That's that'll, it, All projects dropped, I'm coming for him. Uh, that's pretty much how I am with... I mean, if, if I was active during the Illuminati stuff, all projects would have been dropped to cash in on that situation too, because I, I don't know, that's how I am with grudges. Um, that's always been the case. But it would need to be relevant i would never just come out and swing at him for no reason because like i don't know it's kind of played out i think Bowblax has done too much content on it personally and i'm not really super invested anymore also the eight things for a cult yeah that was from 1960s when there was a satanic panic he probably got it off the fucking chat gbt he like interviewed some philosopher dumb fuck or whatever who told him that like milieu control is when youtubers don't want to watch your video on stream or something fucking psychotic jackass <laughs> oh man um oh i want to put a bounty out for information all right i don't know i don't have anything to offer you but i was told today that keffels fucked the uh podcast out of getting a chris chan interview and that keffels told chris chan not to do an interview with me or keemstar um, slimy weasley fuck and if that is the case then I will find an excuse to make a video that'll make her life hell for a couple months. Um, I, I absolutely will. I Do not put it past me to literally use that as incentive to go out and make a fucking Keffels video and create like a fucking entire new conversation about her if she fucking slighted me like that. I absolutely would. Um, is that real? If anyone can show me concrete proof of that. Um, don't go too power crazy. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. I'm trying to find top video topics. These are all requ like requested topics and stuff like that. Um, but no, that would be, that would be insane. I think, like, I don't know. Why did Keffels interview Chris Chan? Were they, was she going for like the most boring interview of the year? Like, I, I genuinely don't, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Hannah Animal tweeted it. Let me see. Because she's got like a laundry list of shit. So I would be blown away if she would want to start that fight. To be honest, she probably belongs on the Wall Cow podcast. What the fuck is Hannah Animal's Twitter? Red Pagan's Twitter has gone probably good. Dylan Burns deleted a debate he had where he said homosexual activity isn't gay, but I re-uploaded it. I wondered if you want to watch it for funny content to react to. Uh, not really. We're friends with Dylan over here. Um, what's it with Chris? Give the Keffels. Uh, so the assumption was that Keffels was going to bring on Chris Chan, so he would badmouth Null. Um, but, like, Chris Chan and Null are still, like, friendly, or maybe not friendly now, but I don't think Chris has anything bad to say about Null. So I think it backfired, and it was just like a, dude, people are so mean to you type thing with someone the entire internet still thinks fucking raped their mother. It's a really weird conversation. Yeah, I, I think Keffel's like outrageously mis uh, miscalculated uh, what the um, angle of that call would be, or what she could get out of it. Oh, can we talk about kiwi farms for a minute? 
Can you believe that Kiwi Farms is now back not only on the clear web, but back in Google search results? How much can one person fail? Holy fuck, dude. Jesus. Keffel's got Kiwi Farms taken down for like a week and was given like world renowned praise from every soy boy cuck loser on the internet and completely failed, fell on her face, and became a drama streamer because she's not intelligent enough to do politics. Holy, like, what a, what a, what a f glowing history of nothing, nothing accomplished. Um. She says it's still down? Yeah, because her audience is too fucking stupid to find it. Null apparently didn't give Chris the money they were raising before he got arrested. But other than that, Null didn't do anything bad to Chris. Yeah. Keffel's assumed Chris thought the same about Null and Kiwi as she does, and he doesn't. Yeah, of course. Null managed Chris's fucking finances or something. Like, apparently Null was doing, like, really really nice shit for Chris. I don't know. I mean, even I knew that. And I'm not, like, the biggest sector fucking follow-upper. I don't watch any of that shit, so I, I, it's not like I watch any of the stuff that they're doing. Oh, I'm gonna get this challenge. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, Shunai saw the video. That was crazy. <laughs> Jesse smiles. Fuck off. <laughs> Jesse smiles. Is she still going? Like, is she? does she still make content? I would be really surprised if she's still around. I just figure all these people, like, just quit at some point, you know? But I think she was doing that drama podcast. For Dude, all the people who say drama content is bad become drama YouTubers. It's like a tradition. Like every single person who cries about drama YouTubers like starts a drama podcast. No, but everyone does podcasts because they're just so easy. Streaming is so easy. There's no effort to it. Um, but yeah. Mm -mm. Nick admits to not being a Christorian. Oh, fuck me, dude. No, I, the only video I've ever seen on Chris Chan that I remember is Gamer from Mars, which is apparently like really early into the christian lore i don't i don't watch any of that shit not saying i'm like getting like any of you guys are bad because you do or anything like that it's just i can't get invest i i need to talk about other topics and shit i i can't get too invested into one thing okay it's a shotgun i needed that gun fuck me what is this guy using okay I don't know how I got that kill. Oh, I hit the wrong trigger. Oh my god, I hit the wrong trigger. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh man. I'm sleepies, but I'm gonna keep streaming. Um dude, I'm sleepies. I'm Edwin. Dude, I'm <laughs> No, I didn't just say that. That's so fucked. No. Oh no. Um Arc Yoda, $5. <laughs> Don't know if you talked about it. Apparently, Slug League Audio. Uh, Jack Blondie. By the way, thank you, Arc, Arc Yoda. Uh, Jack Blondie, thanks for the new membership. Big E, you've been here forever. Thank you for the membership. B Marie, $2. I tweeted at you. We want Blunt Sports. You're fucking with me. I, you, I, four donos you have sent me, and there is nothing in my... Hold on, I'm searching by mentions. I have Xyli who mentioned me seven hours ago. Am I on the wrong Twitter? Did you Did you link my private... There is n I don't have a single tweet at me in seven hours, which is kind of weird, to be honest. Um, yeah, be careful with anything that's being released by Angry Slug Productions, because he was gung-ho about defending this loser a few days ago, so I wouldn't put it past him to go and switch sides just to poison the well and drop clips that don't actually prove anything. Um... I mean, it just sounds like a trap some fucking insane fake pedophile hunter would do. But. Um, it 
it's so funny though that me and Tom sat there and were speculating on whether he uses chat GPT to write fucking scripts and it turns out it was true. That was crazy. Did Edwin ever deny the baby talk DDLG allegations? Yeah, of course he did. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not true. It doesn't mean it's true. It's just fucking more spoken word testimony and impossible to get to the bottom of. Uh, why does the item shop so ass for the past month? I uh, just finally put Zero War Spider-Man back in the shop. The part that sucks is you can't get regular Spider-Man because, I mean, I, I have it, right? There's one skin that I don't have that I want. I can never get it. It's Aquaman. But otherwise, I'm, like, stacked. For any of the viewers who found me yesterday, um, you gotta you gotta feed the Fortnite addiction chatters. All right, you gotta use Code Diorio on the item shop to when Max cries in videos, um, because your boy has a addiction to buying skins. Let me see, anything new in here? What is this? Wait, what is this? Oh no, it's just a generic car, right? That's not like a real thing. It says it's a. No. A cyclone. No, these are just fucking. I was wondering if it was a real car. Um, because your boy is quite the collector. Dude, if I could sell this whole account right now and just sell everything off of it for like <laughs> This has to be worth like ten G's. Cause of all like the like limited shit that you can't get there has to be this has to be worth like 10 g's if i could just like snap my fingers and sell somebody all my skins for 10 g's i probably would vince vintage added more context behind the oh god dude vince is on point i don't really know vince um i don't he had trouble with something one time and i forgot to help him and i felt bad you slimy weasley fuck what's oh no that's the second clip right Charlie. Only there's only two could, clips I'm seeing. I could destroy you. Yeah. Um and Mama Max during this raw edit would go in these tangents and ask if I'm still recording. He just randomly shit talked YouTubers on it. And um Who is Dan Tavius? You slimy Weasley fuck. Hey, thank you for the dono. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay, that was before. Uh, Freddie Woods, how much to make your the fl flamenco growl a dono sound? I don't have do that. That call doesn't exist. If I had it, you'd have it. It does not exist. Um, did you ever get shiny Dialga? I did. I didn't get shiny. Um, hold on, let me see. I I didn't get Arce Arceus. I never got Arceus. Hold on. Is this on? No, I can't get it right now. I'd have to restart my computer. This one doesn't always work. I was going to take a swing and see if I got it, but I can't. Um, are you addicted to Fortnite? I don't play this off stream, but it's the easiest thing to play when I'm on. Mm, Nick shiny hunts. Yeah, dude, we did Chinese last year. We were uh, we got shiny Dialga last year. Um, I think I got shiny Palkia. I don't know if that was on stream though. But I definitely didn't get um, shiny. Uh, Arceus. That was that was the one we were shiny hunting, and we were on like three thousand resets or something crazy like that. Um. Yeah, dude, I played the new Pokemon, and I bought it, I sniped it off eBay for, like, an extra 
40 bucks or something before it came out beat the whole game before any guides existed before it was released publicly and i had a really good time even though the game was buggy as shit i think when nintendo if, if they really release a new uh, console this year i think that might be worth another replay if it were if it runs better because i really enjoyed that game even though for all the faults that it clearly had um Yeah, well, the uh, Keem, Keem got a billion views on you on uh, X this month, and it was only eight hundred dollars. I noticed that my revenue went down from like eighty dollars to thirteen dollars. I don't know what Elon did, but he fucked advertisers. There's like an ad apocalypse going on that no one cares about because we were never making money on that platform to begin with. Ads on Twitter are so f not ads. Uh, income on Twitter is so fucked. But I mean, to be honest, it still pays for blue. As long as it pays for blue every month, I'm fine with that. Um, for sure. But yeah, future topics could be really anything. Uh, I want to kind of put to rest. I don't think we're ever doing the mouthy Buddha video, and because we talked about uh, Epstein Jeffstein on a stream here a couple a couple weeks ago. And I posted the VOD of me and Tom laughing about it. And it literally got a fucking strike. Like, instantly got a strike. The video wasn't even performing ultra well. It was just on the channel. Fuck. And if I can't say fucking... If I, if I can't talk about uh, Ep Epstein Jeffstein, dude, I don't know how in the fuck I'm supposed to talk about everything else i would need to do that video justice so as far as i'm concerned that's the only video that i've announced over the past year other than maybe like the t channel video because that's way too far back that i would never make uh other than that though i do think it is like for people saying oh where's the hassan video where's the hassan video You've been working on it for two years i haven't been working on it for two years but um uh, i'm not gonna say that's not coming out if hassan gets into a controversy and it seems like it's something i could bring up i have tons of assets that are already like fully completed or whatever and i have like a working script for it it can be made but like it just doesn't make sense to do right now there's other stuff that i want to do that's more current um rip jf video i mean i have a jf video i don't i, I don't need a second jf video um that's still up coach red pill i have archived hundreds of things on coach red pill um i was planning on doing this for a while i have like all of his fucking videos he took in Ukraine, um, and, and all and a bunch of his old stuff that's like lost and gone. I have a Zoom call with him where he says that Ralph is gonna like if Ralph finds out he's gonna be killed. Um, I have so much on Coach Red Pill. That could be a video one day, and I, that, that's like probably the line. That's probably I wouldn't go over the line, but that's probably the line. Um, let me get a date on that. Can I find that call? Gonzalo. This dude came back to life and he DM'd me. He's like, hey dude, I'm alive. Here, we got it. Um it was September 3rd, 2022. Um uh, we got a videos. 2022, September 3rd. Okay, so that would have to be in this folder. Here, September 2022. It's January. Nine oh. nine nineteen, nine nineteen, nine fifteen, nine five, nine three. Let me see. What about your Vosh video? I don't think I'll do Vosh. I don't know what what is there to talk about with Vosh. It just feels like any Vosh video is just a Destiny glazing video. I'm not really interested in that. Like at least with Hassan, if I'm doing something that's gonna have a lot of Destiny in it, which I have like an interview with Destiny that I can bring in a video. But like it makes sense because Hassan is like actively like a problem. Vosh is just kind of quiet and doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really bump shoulders and it's kind of generally boring right now. Um. Hey, how's it going? Are you there? I'm doing pretty Do I not have my audio? Yeah. yeah I... 
Testing one, two, three, four. Click, click, block. Testing. Uh, to targeted for assassination, and they're very proud. <laughs> Basically, this website is, um, I don't know if you're seeing it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I didn't see it, but I heard that he got just blown out instantly. And, and of all people, Sam Hyde became famous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And is uh, Hassan Piker trying to press charges against uh, Sam Hyde or something? Dude, isn't this crazy? We're listening to a dead guy talk about Sam Hyde and Hassan Piker. That's fucking wild, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit, chat. Yeah, this is the call. This is definitely the call. I mean, he's dead. I can play it. Dude, this no. is not the leaked call you thought you were going to get tonight. Oh. You're not looking at the right one. I mean, no, not, not Covert Magazine. It's the actual website. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Basically, this website is, um, I don't know if you're seeing it. Uh, this website is a list of people that have been targeted for assassination. <laughs> and if you go through that website, you'll find lots of names of various people. And um, Wait, you guys didn't uh, know Coach Red Pill is dead? Did you guys not know Coach Red Pill is dead? Coach Red Pill was killed in a Ukrainian prison. I, I know that sounds like a joke, but apparently he's... Well, not killed in a... Apparently he died of either, either COVID or ammonia in a Ukrainian prison. This happened like a week ago. Tucker Carlson tweeted about it. Apparently his dad confirmed he was dead. Oh, yeah, I don't know if he... Like, I, I don't know if he's going to pull another Jesus and show up out of nowhere, but as of now, he's presumed dead. There... Uh, both in Ukraine and in Russia and in the United States. Uh, people that I know, I don't know if you heard about the assassination a couple of weeks ago of a woman named Daria Dugina, who was the daughter of a philosopher. Yeah. Well, uh, I have I never actually spoke to her, but we have several uh, friends in common, as a matter of fact. And it was just inevitable that we would... Where is he talking about? Oh, here it is. This is where he oh my god, I have the... Oh, I have the website that he claims was the hit. So I'm telling you, this is as serious as it gets. Okay? And, uh... Yeah, exactly. And so, what happens is that the fact that I'm on this list... Um... This, all right, so, here's the deal. Um, Coach Red Pill showed me a website on Zoom that was supposedly him on a Ukrainian kill list. And he was telling me, if I remember correctly, what's going to be in this call is he's going to tell me I have to notify him if Ethan Ralph finds out that he's on the list or his life could be in grave danger because people come up to him on the streets and, and often are Ralph fans. I'm not kidding. That's in here. The people, there are actual people who are going around down this list trying to knock off whomever they can. Okay. And, um, you know, at this time, I have fairly good relations with the um, secret police here, the SPU. Well, that did not last long. But you see, there, the SPU is just the, the legal authority here, right? I mean, they, they picked me up. They held me for a week. You know the story, right? And they cut me loose because they knew that I was just much more uh, hassle than, than it was worth to, to keep me hold, it, hold up, right? This is when he got, he was arrested the first time and let out. But there are all kinds of crazy pe people here. I mean, really fucking crazy people, right? Uh, I mean, like, um, one of these groups, there was this uh, Ukrainian, uh, uh, Ukrainian uh, uh, brigade or, or, yeah, it was like a, no, it was a battalion size. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, what are you talking about, Ralph? Okay, the, the number 100 dead soldiers shot. Okay, I mean, I've seen them around the city, and they're people you don't want to fuck with. And uh, if they really want to find me, they can. And a lot of these people are plugged into the internet. Dude, this is the part. A lot of them Wait. follow all kinds of crazy people in the West. It's really weird. It's really surprising. Okay, and so that's why I'm asking you as, as a favor to just keep your eyes open. If you ever hear anything 
about that uh, Mirovets or um, Peacemaker. Peacemaker. You know, yeah. anything about a hit. Don't make a to-do about it, but tell me right away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. This is it. This is it. Wait. Or um, Peacemaker, you know, anything about a hit list. You know, don't make a to-do about it, but tell me right away. Tell me who's who's uh, spouting this bullshit and, uh, and, and, you know, just to get, get a heads up as to where it's coming from. You see what I'm saying? He said Ralph somewhere specifically in this call. Yeah. Because, uh, well, my situation is very delicate. And I, I'm not allowed to. And, I, and if I try to leave, I will be picked up and tossed. In. And I've actually thought that maybe that might be the safest. <laughs> Well, it turned out it wasn't the safest, Coach. You know, because you know how it is that sometimes the smartest thing is to be in solitary confinement in some. Yeah, well, that didn't work out in your favor. Oh, that's how we died. In prison, because you know nobody can get to you, right? Nope. But in this case, because of the the um, artillery and and fire that they're putting on the city, that's not really a viable option. I considered it. Turns but, out artillery uh, was yeah, not your Yeah, they issue. wiped out two of the SVU offices, including the office where I was held, by the way. Um, no, it's the experience of a lifetime, man. I mean, I'm scared, sure. Uh, let me see. For me to know where anything is coming from, you know? Um, yeah. Well, also, there's something else that's key. A big part of the reason that I came here was to arrange for the evacuation of my ex-wife and our kids. And so they're gone. They're beach creatures at this point. I mean, because they're like totally brown. So, um, yeah, because they've been at the beach. I mean, and at the same time, trying to lay low from the crazies. Because the crazies aren't going to pay attention to some serious show. Because I'm telling you, you know, you, uh, uh, but um, my, my concern is, so I'm doing this balance of like being in the public eye, if you will, or the online eye Not at any rate. That, but I'm gonna fat shame here. And at the same time, shit, trying to lay low from the crazies. Because the crazies aren't going to pay attention to some serious show. Because I'm telling you, you know, you have no idea, and I didn't know until, you know, relatively recently, that a lot of, like, the Andy Worski shit, you know? Uh-oh. There are people here in Ukraine who follow that garbage. Uh-oh. I mean, they really do. And I'm like... <laughs> He's a fucking retard, you know. They they follow um, <laughs> Daka Daka that that channel with, with the retardation. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 they follow that bullshit. Okay. Uh, and uh, oh yeah, if if PPP or or Worsi for that matter ever asks you about me, say that you haven't heard. From me. Just uh, <laughs> let's, let's keep this conversation between you and me like it never happened. And after this is all over. When I'm like definitely in a safe place and everything is is copacetic, I'm happy to do a, a stream with you and, and on your channel or wherever you want, and discuss the whole ins and outs of the experience because it's it's pretty cool, you know, <laughs> being in a war, you know, yeah, it's scary and all that. Maybe it was maybe that's what I remember, but I <clears> thought <throat> Ralph was in here. Seven point one so. surrounds miles, and and for a split second you're like, am I going to be able to breathe my next breath? No. I mean, it's like that. And so when when it's happening on top of you, when you're like actually in combat, I haven't been near combat, by the way, okay? I, I, I want to stay the fuck away from that shit because I'm telling you, man, that it's fucking traumatizing Like you cannot. It's so funny that he was there the same time Dylan Burns was there. And it, Dylan Burns was like Coach Blue Pill. Like he was there for pro-Ukraine and Coach was there being like Russian fucking media. He freaked out because Russian media put him on the thing and he thought he was going to get killed because he was on Russian media. And he didn't like consent to being on it. But I could have sworn there's something about Ralph in there. I'll look it up in my spare time. Yeah. Um... But yeah, no, that is real though. I do have that call. Like that does exist. Um, there's a bunch of shit in it. Did you guys see Solid Shibe came back to the internet? Yeah, Solid Shibe came back to the internet. And he came back just to disavow Mama Max, who's been talking about him privately and thanking, like, oh, Nick, you've done so much good stuff for Ed and Shibe, and I know you'll make the right decision here. And then Shy was like, why is this fucking freak talking about me or whatever? And then came out and said, like, stop using me as like a guilt thing. And like, it's even more so like a problem with the call itself. 
What is this? Let me see. Can I find that? Let's go here. Um, Where the fuck? Oh my god, that's so much shit in here. Okay, is this it? Hey, I want to send this to a few. Nope, that's not it. There. I'm gonna start. Let me hear this. Is this where he does it? Do what he thinks. There's a difference between wanting to help somebody and being able to do that and i know if i could magically snap my fingers and help all of the people who are working with you i would but i know my own limitations and those are not within my means uh, i think yes, you need to reflect upon that and i think you need to do something i don't know what mm -hmm. that is i wouldn't have found myself in the position that you're in to be honest i, I don't envy the position that you're currently in mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. what you're doing right now is not working um and i feel like talk, talking to you in these ways i, I feel like I'm, I'm not gonna get through so there's not really much else i can do to help you even i, you... I don't think i've helped but, but i don't think i can do anything more to help than i didn't already uh... do <laughs> every conversation makes a difference and I think the thing that sets you aside from... God, why is it lagging? From Hold on, what timestamp is this? 21... 2.51.27. 2 Hold on. I'm just showing this guy I need to prove a point. Hold on. Uh... Here. Specifically for law enforcement, let me grab the video. I timestamp... A small part of what I've... And you told me that two years ago. Yeah. 251.27. Of your friends, as I believe you are a truth seeker, whereas they feel more self-serving. Um, I say that because of how you defended Thomas. I say that because of your friendship with Zapti. This guy is a fucking snake, dude. He literally just, he invokes Thomas, and Thomas does not like him. <laughs> like Thomas doesn't even like him, dude. That's Shive, dude. I say that because of the, what you've done for Solid Shive. It's Solid Shive's like, bitch, stop talking about me. Uh, yeah, that's the other one. He can't even go for the generic Nick Diorio like retard fucking attack because he's already fucking said that. Like that's he's already fucked himself, dude. Uh. All right, let's pick this up. But yeah, I don't know when I when I think it's time. That's when we'll drop that call. When I think that, like, he's been on the edge of his seat for long enough, then we'll drop it. But not not before. Who's Thomas? Solid Shibe. Thomas is Solid Shibe. Um, updates on Zaptai? Uh, we spoke a couple weeks ago. I do need to try to reconnect and see where he's at. I see his girlfriend post a lot on Twitter. But I don't know. I think they're good. Everyone's busy these days. Woo! Hi. Bang. So what are you guys up to? Throw some questions in chat, and I think we'll end off pretty soon. But if you have any questions, at me, at Nicholas Diorio, so I can see it. No space, because then it'll pop up as orange, and my eyes will gravitate to your message. Throw any questions you got at me. Believe me, the question of, are you going to release the call tonight, is not going to get answered. But anyone else who has like any other questions, feel free to throw them in there. Again, I just want to thank everybody so much for their support before we get started on this. Um, you guys have been great. You revived my main channel, and I'm in your debt. Any plans for the future? We kind of talked about that a lot tonight, so I'm not going to bore everyone else who already heard it. But tentatively, we have a plan for a video next week. Kind of mysterious in the moment what that's going to be, but um, tentatively a plan for a video next week. Then probably taking a couple time, a couple days, a couple weeks off or whatever. 
of video creation, just doing streams and, pr and working on the other video that'll come up after that. And in that intermediate time, I'll be reposting the two Keemstar documentary things that I did um, for people who haven't already seen them to get that on my main channel. So there should be a steady stream of content, some of which you might have already seen, but once we're through those two, it's all new from there. Um, everyone gets older, life gets busier. Yeah. You ever going to make Death Noodles Part 3? That's on the docket. I again I understand that like it's not a booming topic but I owe Dennis an interview too and I think a convo with Dennis would be really really productive um I don't know how people are going to take it I'm not as soured on Dennis as I was three years ago two years ago when I made the video uh, I met the man I shook his hand um and stuff like that so it, it might be an interesting like where are they now type conversation because I legitimately spoiler alert don't think that dennis is really all that problematic right now um and i think that a lot of his like his content's not really for me but i don't think there's really anything wrong with it um so i it would the video would probably be a summary of everything i didn't cover in my first two videos and then like a where is he now type thing where we like you know chat or whatever it would be cool if i if he's ever at vidcon to like film a sit down interview with me i think that would be really awesome uh, i kind of i'm envious of tom's ability to do some of stuff like that now and i and i think maybe if i'm ever at conventions or something like that i would love to set something up where we do come some sort of sit down video or whatever i think that's like the next evolution of, of content is doing more gamer from mars style interviews so for sure i would love to do something like that but i mean i would settle for discord um it's probably crazy to hear that if you step through a time machine but yee Ooh, hi sir i'm going to pop a cap in your ass he said with a smile what are you doing okay um what was the most difficult part of the video? Definitely the editing. I thought I could t do the editing in one day, and then I realized my last video was 30 minutes long, and this video was... Uh, I, at points, it was an hour and 30 minutes long. The segment that I cut out, though, was pretty good, so who knows. Um, you think Dylan could have saved CRP? Yeah, he could have given him life support. He could have given, given CRP CPR. Uh, when are you just going to take over After Hours by force since Augie wants to neglect it? It would be funny if I just went live on his channel and debated everybody, but he would be really upset with me if I did that. Um, ah, sorry, I forgot we did that. No, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. No no issues with you. Not only that, um, but I'm going to fashion I don't know who's been here this fat piece of shit Have you seen literally the fucking game? earlier said I'm losing I with I was estrogen. not aware that a RoboCop game released, but what I am aware of is the Indiana Jones game that's coming out this year from Bethesda. What's well, not only that, but I'm gonna being published by this Bethesda, fat piece of shit but it literally looks fucking good. earlier said I'm oozing oh with estrogen. Oh my god. I'm like glazing that game, bro. What is this? Auto shotgun. Cool. Not only that, but I'm gonna fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm who's oozing with estrogen. Me? Who's shooting? Made you look. Does anyone see who's shooting? Not only that, but I'm going to fat shame here too. This fat piece of One shit second. literally fucking out. earlier One said I'm second. oozing with estrogen. Is that a sniper? Cool. Give okay. me. Oh. Not only that, but I'm going to fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. What? What? You slimy, weasley fuck. So many slurs, dude. So many slurs. Where are we? Uh, we got five gifted from somebody. Thank you so much. Uh, Majin Kaiju, thanks for the five. Will the world ever get an outside, uh, an all-out double R review with Chud? Dude, I would love to do a rape review at Chud Logic, where we just, like, live react to, like, the newest rape. Nerd Angle. Thank you so much. I thought it said Nerd Augie. Thank you for becoming a member uh beamery equals me i i added you on twitter i hate twitter what the fuck oh let me see any topic would be isn't that the fact he trolls hello sir i wouldn't say he trolls but yes that's him he does debates after doing research in quite good faith i found your content through an idiotic youtuber that's it you're on a panel with so i can imagine how many more people will be introduced to to it via a debate with him or involving him that's fine i'll do a debate with him if he has an interest okay so all right so holy fuck dude all right i asked you the topic okay and he doesn't know the topic you're just trying to book a debate it's <laughs> what the 
fuck? What are you talking about? What are you? No. No. If he has a topic, I'll debate him. That's what he wrote to me, dude. Um, Isn't it crazy? Oh, wait, where was I? Uh, are you coming back this year? I think so. Um, videos release. Where was I? I'm way up now. I was, uh, why are you scared to play ranked? I've just never played ranked before. With all you found out about Max so far, what shocked you the most? Definitely finding out he never caught a predator. I want to go back um, and, and find that fucking debate that I had with that Night Docs fucker. Because I could have sworn he told me that he's got like confirmed fucking pedophile captures. Uh, did you actually get some rest after being up for so long? A little bit. I have work, dude. I, I still work a regular job. Like I'm not full time YouTube, so that was like a, it did take a lot out of me. But I mean, it feels good though. I'm on a YouTube sleep schedule right now. So, um, did you actually get some rest? Yeah, I read that. One. Favorite game besides Fortnite and Destiny? I haven't played Destiny in months. I think part of the reason I'm back is because I quit Destiny. I literally think that Destiny is, like, part of the reason I haven't been on YouTube. It just sinks, like, hours of my life to play that game. You need to, like, dedicate a long time to Destiny. It's, like, Destiny, a social life, and work. Or Destiny, YouTube, and and work. Or Destiny, and, like, a social life, and YouTube. Like, you understand, like, you have to pick. Like, Destiny is, like, such a huge fucking you time. Slimy, weasley, fuck. Um, have you heard from Augie at all? Yeah, we spoke yesterday. Uh, dinosaur and tar pit. This video release is why everyone demanded you come back to YouTube for the past couple of years. Great job on the video. Can't wait to see what's next. Thank you so much, dinosaur. I really appreciate that. I didn't know how it was going to pan out, and I'm fucking relieved to say that it went well. It went better than well. It went better than better. Um, do we have any proof Augie's alive? Uh, proof of life. Proof of life. Not that I can. We have about as much proof that Augie's alive than we have Camden's a rapist. Um, is Augie coming back this year? I don't know. Mm, Germ. Isn't it crazy how Mama Max, despite all the content he's made, has never addressed anything solid on camera? Camden? Gerard Davis? I talked to someone through this and it was nothing. Yeah, um, because they really don't have anything solid. That was kind of the point of the call. Is that, like... All the stuff, I think the most damning stuff they have is all about, like, a recent victim that, that like, just got out or something. And they're, like, the uh, the main person to talk to. Um, with all you found out about Max so far, which, uh, I think I, did I not respond to that? Oh, no, I didn't respond to that one. What, it was definitely, no, I did respond to that one. What happened to the Sniper Wolf video? It was a lazy video to come back, and to be honest, this video was better. Um... I don't know if a sniper wolf video was really necessary. Everyone kind of talked about it. That was the one thing Max got right, is it was just like a fucking overdone topic that I don't really care about, to be honest. Um, what was your personal biggest bombshell in the Mama Max video? Yeah, again, it's that... Actually, no, I'm sorry. It's not that he didn't catch any predators. It's when he said that his fucking videos were fake, dude. Holy shit, wait, how did I forget that? When he said that you should expect everything in his video to be fake other than literally the pedophile's face, dude. Holy shit, was that not crazy? Was that not like the... Dude, that blew my fucking mind. Okay, yeah, he might have faked the girl who got raped and killed. Okay, that's bad. Uh, he might have faked the Discord screenshot. Oh, that raises questions. But when he turned around and he said, dude, literally everything that I do, you should just assume is fake. That was so fucking nuclear. Like, that was insane. Uh, no question. Thank you for taking my mind off the shitty life for a prolonged period of time. That was a nice welcome. Uh, I do not know anybody here, but I appreciate it. Listen, Polyrhythm, I hope that you are having a fantastic day, and I hope that things get better. So Augie's alive, and I think we'll take over after hours. Thanks for the answer. Um, but did you still leave Dev on the Indiana Jones game? No. Jesus. Oh, God. Whoa, whoa. I don't have a gun. I don't have a gun. I don't have a gun. This isn't fair. I'm not armed. You can't kill me. Geneva Convention. Let's go time. I'm dead. Fuck. Um, change the genre. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, was Ralph at the end of your video after the Augie? Yeah, it was Ralph. Yeah, he's looking a lot better, right? Uh, does Augie smoke crack now? No, he does meth. Is Augie on because of some heavy shit or just casual personal life? Um, his dog raped his cat. Does Augie know what's going on with Max? What does he think? I think he's pretty much aligned with everybody else. Did he watch the Max video? Yes, he did. Um... Did Max or Spencer comment on your show being Ultimate Rape Review? I mean, part of that was in the call. I think it's one of the leaked calls. Did you guys watch the QR code stuff? Do you want me to play the QR code stuff right now? 
Um, quickly, let me just do donos before I jump off this account to go see that. Um, TBG Candy, thank you so much for the 99 cents. Somebody with a five gifted. I think I read that one already, though. Um, I think I want to see the QR codes. Ah, let me see. But yeah, I think we addressed Ultimate Rape Review. I'll play that one. I think it's Cult. The uh, I can cancel you, Charlie. I'm a, I am a pedo hunter. Daredevil Born Again plot summary leaked. No, well, Max Fan Club. Let's see. GoFundMe account. I don't know. Max claims his videos are most mostly fabricated. Where is the QR codes? QR codes here. Um, and by the way, if people were asking where the QR codes were and if they're annoying or whatever, I literally just fucking did. Um, I did that to just spite him, just because I knew it would piss him off if I used his own stupid tactics against him. Bro, in clip three, he accuses, I believe, Nick of using cult tactics and a weird crackpot psychologist Max is talking to. He's literally doing the Spider-Man. I'm not the cult leader. You are. You use milieu control. Um, you probably won't read this, but your video made me a fan of your content, and it was literally so good, and you left nothing out and got everything out, and your point was across. You and Muda did such a great job. Thank you so much, goth girl Kiara666. Uh, all right, here's the clips. This is uh, we already read, we already heard that one technically. What's this one? Evidence.exe. I would like to explain my position on this. Sure. Um, okay. So, did Max the purpose or, can, of I the NDA? All right, hold on, let me see. Oh wow, there's a lot of other questions. Did he watch the one? I read that one. Um, thank you. You're the first person replying to me, apart from my partner and the ISP help guy. Precious moments in my life for sure. <laughs> uh, keep doing you. Count Blackula. Will Augie and After Hours be back? It might be. Is to protect the survivors. Like, okay. that is why the NDA protects their anonymity and for them to have, for them to be able to give the approval of what they want to share. But we do want to, like, let people in and see, like, what is, what is occurring here. Um, it's just we... My priority has been to protect the survivors. And, okay, and but you do that. understand. Say Charlie looks at everything hypothetical. Right. Charlie's mm -hmm. most Charlie can't then go, guys. There's a predator on the loose. I saw it on Discord. That wouldn't be sufficient for his audience. It's one thing to get somebody on board and to get moral support behind the scenes and join a group chat. It's another thing to get actual support, the stuff that you're looking for, and you won't get that until you show more publicly. Right and. I guess the challenge for me with showing showing the evidence is I personally have not been walked through the evidence besides Spencer's. Um, the survivors <laughs> in the server... So I, I didn't play this clip in the video. I played the clip where he explained this clip because it gave his full take on it. But this was a mind blower when I heard for this. For me, wait, with wait. Showing, showing the evidence is I personally have not been walked through the evidence besides Spencer's. Um, the survivors... Dude, this was January fucking something teenth, all right? This guy has been doing this stupid fucking investigation for literally at this point, like... <sighs> like, like three fucking months. Three fucking months publicly. Privately, he's been doing it longer. Like, th th almost three years, bro. And he hasn't even walked through all of his own evidence yet. In the server, not all of them are as active as we would like them to be. Uh, obviously, a lot of them have trauma. They talk about it. and that I had therapy right as the video was going to drop, so I literally explained the situation to her. I hope you made, me, I hope you made her a fan. Uh, the big thing that was missing was evidence2.zip uh, evidence reference with Max protecting all of this, uh, protesting all of this so-called evidence. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a lot of people saw that I named the thing evidence.zip as a joke in the fucking beginning or whatever, and they lost it on that one. I tried to put little fucking stuff in there, but I didn't have a lot of time to hide stuff because I was I did not have a lot of time to make this video. I, I, I Did I say this to you or did I say this to my friends privately today? Back when I made the Keemstar video, which is, again, one of the most viewed videos on my channel in 2019, Colossal is crazy, told me I was taking too long because I was making a 50-minute video in two days. But when I made a 50-minute video in two days, 
I didn't have transitions. I didn't have backgrounds. I had like a, a one static looping background, like the whole video. And I would go back and forth between two of them. I think I, I used like two songs throughout the entire video. Uh, the clips were like, I didn't do anything to them. They just played right. Like there was no editing. It was basically an unedited video with like, like a similar script to what I have now. Right. With a, a worse, but similar script that I have now. And like that just, isn't feasible for me to do anymore not with like the style of video i make it takes a couple more days but fucking lazy ass colossal dude that's giving me like hella shit uh how many years do you want to do youtube since you've been doing it for five it'll be a good content for a long time uh it's a hobby it's a hobby so there's no like you can't put a fucking number on a hobby dude if i was full time by now i probably would have taken my money and quit i'd also probably be way bigger but as long as it's a hobby and something interests me, I'll be here. As long as I can get interested in this topic and talk about a drama um, and enjoy myself, I'll be here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not like, I'm not trying to get out of here. I kind of just got back, you know. I'm not, my, I'm not one foot out the door. Did Jalen decline being part of the call out section? I just talked to them on that stream. I didn't really pursue it further. It's hard for them to actually just sit down and, and speak with me. Next call, um, my call on Larix's stream. Is Larix live? Like, is this happening right now? What the fuck? Why we kicked Edwin out of the house? What is this? Oh, oh, wait, is Edwin go. not coming back? Is he completely ostracized? Uh, so I don't like saying Edwin. ostracized because that's cringe, but like I don't want to talk yeah. to Edwin anymore personally. I, I use that term all the time. What the fuck? Uh, like Edwin Edwin and Salvo kept going around saying that they were being black. This is a 30 minute video on why Edwin was kicked out of the community. That's crazy. But that's that's why I've been just asking the general public to please be patient. Like there's a lot of things we need to wait for. I am Dude, I want the public to be fucking patient, but I also want to release everything now, but I don't want to show you any of it, but I want to tell you I have it, and then you're supposed to fucking do something about it, but I won't give you anything to work with. Kill me. Just trying to get the word out that this is Camden Gerard Davis, this is what the accusations against him are, uh, and it's also, you can also, like, we are fine saying this is all alleged. No, like, we are not. fine. If oh, you can't if, just say it's alleged now. No, because him a pedophile. Yeah, hundred percent. That's not. Yeah, I'm fine doing it because I I trust them. What? But okay, all, but all you, I wanted to do. You said you didn't review most of the evidence besides Spencer, though. Dude, I trust them, but I, I don't even know what the they evidence. said. I just haven't had the. Dude, he doesn't even know what they fucking said, and he trusts them. He hasn't even heard them explain themselves. I just. I, they have a good energy to them. I, I believe their rape allegation. Fuck me, dude. Context as to what. Lyrics is talking to Nexpo right now. Uh. We randomly DM you, like, hey, do you want to be in a video? And I'm like, yeah, sure, dude. I'll be in a video. And he, like, sends me a script and he's like, read this. And I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, whatever. And then I see the whole context when everything's out. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So that, okay, so for the like specifically the pick a side thing, you just got like a basically a script to say out loud, and you just trusted him because obviously yes. he's your friend, and you know he has a yeah. certain amount of like you know. Um, well, he comes to me. He, he would come to me, um, basically saying like, "I'm trying to put out this video," or he had already put out a video or something, and uh, YouTube struck it down and everything, and he was doing the pick a side thing, which it seems noble like at first. Bro, he's and then, cocky. He's wobbing me. He's wobbing me of content. Especially in retrospect now, it's like... Yeah, it's pretty... Like, the dude literally... I mean, it's a pretty funny story. I mean, he yeah, went out of his yeah. way to not censor some, like, IMVU character's naked ass. And then he blamed YouTube for yeah. being pro-pedophile just because I, he didn't include this... Like, he didn't decide to censor an ass in his video. No It way. was like... I didn't... Re yeah, I didn't even realize that that's what the whole thing was about. Dude, I don't believe this. I don't believe this. What about Max? Well, I mean, he... 
he do you ah, believe that so he much, just didn't know so much i could just fucking go off about, about i mean i, like I want to be good face and believe you bro you literally narrated that part you were literally the one i did just, yeah, you were literally that, the that one. On i mean me. it was I, a pretty bad look i gotta it, admit it, man. yeah yeah and that's kind of i can't no no i'm not saying like oh i'm not calling it no i'm saying like i don't do i believe nexpo when he says stuff like that like why wh what charitability would i give to him for that I shouldn't have done that. I should have vetted what I was doing. And so, um, yes, and, and, and what we're finding. I kind of would shud. Like, how did all of these people not know? With people like, I guess, like, you know, he's a he's a, like a streamer, Chud Logic. He had a conversation with him where he was grilling him a little bit. And Mudahar ended up just saying, yeah, like, you know, the reason why I gave, um, you know, specifically this guy so much credibility publicly is not because I actually watched his videos, just because we sat down, had a beer together. We ended up being friends and he just lied straight to my face. That's the thing. That's the thing, man. It's so there are basically, I, okay, just on the record, I have not even seen the uh, IMVU video start to finish. I, I, I honestly Dude, cannot come sit through on. his video. No, <laughs> no. no. You're, just, you're just shitting on him now. Yeah. Dude, I don't believe that nobody watched them. The, the naked ass thing. I didn't really realize that that's what, that's what got it striked until he told me Come later. On. And I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, same deal. Like, like Max in person and Max online are two completely different people and nobody watched the video uh it's kind of crazy because in person he's like a normal just it seems like a normal dude it's kind of awkward um cracks jokes you know we grab a beer together and stuff and it's just it's just like nor a normal person and then you befriend that version of someone and then they go online and do all this fucking shit and they they do it once and it's like okay yeah sure and they did it and twice they it twice and, and like, they okay, do damn, okay and they do it three you. times and then your ex has come out and it's like okay what the fuck's going on and then this and i'm like okay there's a pattern this shit happens once a year this sh this is fucking exhausting yeah. like being associated with you doing all this shit going through the same song and dance every goddamn year is just <laughs> Dude, oh, it's it so sick. crazy how all these people came out once it was publicly acceptable to shit on this guy with the correct take. I don't know, man. I don't like, believe this. Like being associated. Maybe I'm just being, like, maybe I'm being a dumb fuck here, but fuck me, this is convenient. He, he literally thrust me into depression with the exes thing. Like I've always been. Oh kind my of, god. Like, I've had my shit together and everything, but with the whole like thing with his exes i think it was like last year and all do you believe that muda didn't know I, I i believe that muda fucked up and he did everything in his power to correct the issue and i think he went above and beyond to the point where he's now offering privately to help these girls offline get their shit done i i think that he fucked up but he he dramatically went back and corrected everything i don't i don't really respect no this the fun. same way you know about anything and then all this shit just blindsides you and it's like what it's not even like he jumped ship you know? before yeah. he waited for everyone to and jump like ship and yeah, he like admitted to like you know stalking and like harassing that girl i think it was Haley for years again i'm not condemning expo right out of the bat i just don't believe what he that said just magnetar now. dude um, i and man, I've, whole, i assume you've heard about I, the magnetar story a little bit too at the end of his video him just basically accusing him of being a pedophile you know? And this goes back to like whenever Max asks you to like collab uh, on something, you don't know what you're getting into because I had no fucking clue. Yeah. Magnetar, I didn't know who, no clue who the fuck Anthony Field was. All right, so Magnetar until just, the video dropped. Magnetar has no fucking not Magnetar. I'm sorry, Max's videos are terrible. Like nobody watches them. It's confirmed. Everyone hates his content. I was testifying for his character, which I now fucking regret doing. But Wait, sorry, was, forgive me if I'm uh, forgive me if I missed something. Did you? Did he? Were you in his? Uh, video believe all no. abusers no he he reached out asking if i could write a statement and as a friend i was like you know what i've seen your relationship with pow that was fucking horrible like every time i i saw it personally Wait, so what? I, uh, I wrote a statement with my experience with that and max like as a person in real life and that's where that came from. But I wasn't in the actual video itself. Wait, what is he talking yeah. about? He's so, okay. And, wait, and like wait, first and, uh, no, 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 like no you've lyrics. Also heard about lyrics, like he said you lyrics, didn't watch wait. through the IMVU video. I guess I just have to take you on your whoa, work too. But you've obviously heard whoa. about like, that guy literally faking wait, that whole girl. Why are we Casey. Wondering? Did he just, all right, am I wrong? Did he just say that he realized that Max was terrible to his girlfriend and he wrote him a good, like, letter, like a doctor's note saying he was good? Did I just fucking miss that? Did, 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 whoa. 
Hold on. Wait. I'm so fucking sorry. Did am I am I fucking sleep deprived? Did I just miss that? Flipping through it. And uh the I, wait, I've always I don't okay. know why the fuck. Alright, chat, whoever just compared him to Mudahar, this is way worse than Mudahar, dude. What the fuck? No, wait, I've what? what, what? I'm trying he won't sad. he won't put it's me sad in. To see all this shit that he faked and on like such serious topics. It's sad. It's like, don't spam him, don't spam him. It's um, not that much. Goddamn Cartoon Incorporated was fake. He he told me so many goddamn times that Cartoon Incorporated was real. Like I I had I have to pry shit out of him just to get the truth. And Wait, so you knew he faked his videos too? I don't know, dude. It's just fucking horrible. Wait. Yeah, here, real quick. Do, do you think, I don't, I don't want to like jump you with anything. Is it, do you think, do you know Nick Diorio? Is it fine if I add him to the call? He's just like fucking I would, begging. I, I would love to talk to Diorio. I've been, I've no! been talking to Muda for a while and um, yeah, it's fine. Oh no. Oh, now I feel bad. I shouldn't join this call. Oh. Hey dudes. What's up, Nick? How you doing? What is up? What is up? So we got an expo on the call. Um, I guess um, necessarily do you... So you've seen the recent stuff with, obviously... Um, you said you never watched any of his previous videos, like right? You just took... Or at, le at least you took them at face value. Similar thing to like what Mudhar was basically saying, is that he spoke to his credibility publicly, yet he was... <laughs> thanks for the Fortnite gameplay, Nick. It's but the only way I can pop out for the stream. <laughs> but um, you spoke to his credibility publicly, and trying to and basically praised Ma, uh, Mama Max as like a big creator. Oh, audio issues. All right, gotcha. <laughs> What's up, Nick? How we doing over there? How you doing, young blood? Dude, Nick, I'm not gonna lie. Someone randomly, I started stream. Someone randomly in my chat's like, "Dude, I'm in the Discord server with all the evidence." And I'm like, <laughs> "Random chatter." <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay, if what you're saying is real, just like add me on Discord, Lurex Law, whatever the fuck." They yeah. start screen sharing. Yeah, yeah I hear you. Yeah, just one second. They start screen sharing with me and they just like leak me all of the fucking evidence. They're leaking me every screenshot, everything in that Discord server right now. Jesus. Dude. Okay, okay. Unbelievable. Like, what the? Tell me, okay, you guys have been digging in this probably more than I have. Tell me this fucking lawsuit shit's fake. Please, for the love uh, of God. I mean, God, it's, tell it's me. not going to be an international lawsuit, but I mean, it is a threat. That is a threat that was made. Uh, Spencer seems to be pushing it. Yeah, that's that's definitely real. He's totally lost his fucking mind. Um, Dude, Nick, Nick, I'm pretty sure you know this, but the NDA is Mudhar writing his name and the date when he did it in his notes page and sending that screenshot. That's cute. I, I wrote mine on a dual. Discord I wrote mine server. on a dual sense notepad thing that comes. Does you know, think that's gonna hold up in court? No, like, no. You, you know the little t the, the the fingertips thing that you get with the, with the dual sense controller, where you have to like, where you can look at it. It has like how to use the controller if you're really fucking stupid. Yeah, I signed it on that, and I sent that back to him. But I didn't sign I the one that Buddha signed. <laughs> I signed the uh, oh, don't leak my video early thing, and it, it expires at that. Muda signed like the never speak about Camden Gerard Davis one. Yeah, and it's I, again. I'm I, I'm gonna show mine at some point in the future. And in mine, there was a, like, it's, it's so funny. There's a, there's a, um, an entire section about how I have to stream about his video. Like, yeah, in the but NDA. I know like one of the, one of the t conditions of the NDA is that I have to dedicate a certain specific hour of viewership to his video. Are you, yeah. Dude. <laughs> but I mean, like, I was digging into like the, the Mama Max legal team stuff that Magnetar tweeted and it's, it's just silly, man. It's just silly. Like, you, you know, we, people aren't stupid. Like we, we know that's not an actual attorney. The attorneys don't send emails from YouTubers, personal contacts, emails. Like, it's just not how it is. Dude, yeah. So the, the Mama Max team, do you mind if I ask one question? Um, yeah, yeah. when you were saying to lyrics before that you like sent Max a testimony for his believe all, uh, accusers video so you said that like you experienced a bad relationship with max but you wrote him a good review is that what i got out of that no so i uh the relationship he was in with pal yeah um they're, they're basically pal uh i don't know if i <laughs> i know we're live but uh basically i saw her Every time I would go, like, you know, like, visit Max, which was occasionally, um, it was just, I could just tell that their their relationship was not the best. But Max has always been very secretive about everything. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, I, I just recall Pow having a lot of 
I guess, internal battles she was going through and stuff. And, and they, they did kind of get into a lot of like heated uh, arguments and stuff. And it, it was just not a good relationship. Um, so I, I didn't know what if it was, was your contribution to the video then. Yeah, it, it was. And that, that was, no, 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 no. I, I'm just asking oh, what oh, it was, what was specifically. Yeah. Oh, so basically I was just speaking on Max's character, like from how I know him face to face. Um, kind of just uh, I forgot the fucking thing it's I don't know if there's it's still on a Google Drive somewhere or what but um just kind of telling him or giving the statement of like how he's at least to me at least I thought uh always just a, a good person to be around uh just really nice well-mannered I forgot what else I said but it, it was just kind of like just stuff about his overall character so, but, but now, you didn't wanna, looking back... But you didn't, like, I don't know, because you're saying that, like, he had this really fucked relationship with his girlfriend. You, I mean, that didn't set off a red flag at the time. I don't mean to grill you. But... It should have. I, I, I should have. Yeah, it should have, man. Okay. All right, that was my only um, thing I wanted to bring up from before. Yeah, I, and, it, and looking in hindsight, like, I, I should have just told him no and just mm -hmm. not given him a statement. And so that, but that's on me. I mean, it's it's been done, and I'm sorry for basically anyone that's that's affected by max now i i'm sorry oh it's actually just... one more one more thing so you said that max told you one of the videos were fake did you know that a lot of his content was fake before all this stuff broke wait did he say that i missed that did i say i think that? you said that you had like because uh, there was something you, you had to like i think he said he found about. out it was fake yeah you had to pester him about it because he wouldn't tell you but like did you know that oh, a lot Carson of his content? Yeah, it was that one. Yes, yes, and the uh, but that's like little that and then the uh, the Asahara thing, the Amshinrikyo thing. Uh, I had to pester him about that too, but those were like the only two like little things. Yeah, because that was the one his... for people who don't know. He claimed he was being attacked by like a a Japanese cult a Japanese or something. fucking dangerous cult. Yeah. 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 For making a YouTube video, and that apparently they sent him a video game that's going to give him a brain hemorrhage, and then also sent him death threats in his fucking email saying, I'll kill you. It was unbelievable. Yeah, and I, I remember the uh, the Cartoon Incorporated thing. I saw it in a Lost Media iceberg, because I like to cover a lot of Lost Media shit. And uh, I was like, man, fucking Max, Max made that. Like, I should ask him. And then I asked him. And he was always like, no, nah. he, he does that, that Max laugh he does. And then yeah, he's I like, no, exactly it's real, one. man, it's real and stuff, whatever. And then uh, at Creator Clash this past year, um, I basically kind of like, I, I was like, dude, look, I, I feel like I don't know you. And there's a lot of shit that you've not opened up to me about. There's a lot of shit that I don't even know about who the fuck you are. And basically during that call he opened up about um like like the option rico thing and then the the fucking uh god damn it man I so do you right. think he was guilty that he faked that content because you're saying he's opened up about it or was it like an kind of like an admission what was the tone of that conversation like uh basically it was after the exes thing and i had already kind of been sort of backing away from being associated with him since all that because back then i kind of knew like okay this is this has got to be it you know like i can't i can't like be close close with him anymore mm -hmm. and i'll still be cool with him but it's like i'm i can't be friends friends with him anymore it's just it's exhausting and uh yeah we were in an uber we were going to this creator clash after party thing and um i think max realized that he he was like yeah yeah, Ryan's kind of distancing himself and all that and stuff. And it just kind of came out in his demeanor. And somehow it came up in conversation. And we were a few beers in. And I just started asking him stuff about, like, just things about his life and everything that he's never told me because he's never fucking opened up about anything with me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's how I got those answers. Okay. Wait, so in, so in this call, and I was curious, I want to go back to that real quick. In this call, Max told you that the Amish and Riccio was fake. What else did he tell you that was like fake in that call? I'm curious. Well, it wasn't a call. He's saying this happened in like IRL. Real life. Yeah. Okay. In, in real life. Yeah. What else did he tell you was fake? The Cartoon Incorporated thing. Um, Cartoon Incorporated. Um, it sounds like 
the um, Shinrikyo. Um, what about? I, I don't want to say this other kids thing chat on on a stream. Uh, kids chat? No, I I don't know anything about kids chat. That Did you I IMVU? believe is real. The what? I am VU. That I I did not ask him about that because I didn't really catch it until uh, do you remember, all this shit came out. Mm -hmm. Do you remember my law? My yes, I think so. Did he say it was fake? He hasn't mentioned anything about my my law because I haven't asked him about any, anything about that. Um. Okay, and then Puppy Stomp. Puppy Stomp. No, I actually haven't even really watched that video all the way through. He did ask me to film my dog um, when he was a puppy for like a portion of that. I think it was like the C2 <laughs> rink thing. Okay. And then lastly, the Wayne. This is what happened to a child predator on TikTok. So Wayne, he... Uh, I, okay, so I have seen that one because he sat me down and made me watch it. Um, <laughs> I don't know anything about Wayne. I I believed him on that one, that everything that, that Wayne was was caught and everything. Did you think he'd okay. had like some? Do you think he had like had an arrest or something under his belt at some point during this? Yeah. Did he tell you that? So with the with the one video, what which video was that where he put the fucking mugshot of the guy with like the messed up information and everything on? Puppy there? stomp. He Puppy announced stomp? And, and he was claiming that he got a lot of predators. Um, you know, locked up in his previous video, which would yeah. be um, my law. Yeah, and then which he would went that on end like, up being fake? Nick, he like went on your podcast too, and he also said he got Pablo Sunny. Pablo, Pablo Sunny. Up. Yeah, that so one. Was... I just fucking believed him. I don't know. I, I don't, in hindsight, I don't know why I did. I like, thought honestly. the craziest part of the call was when he was like, "Oh no, that was what happened." Like he needed to watch the clip to remember that. Meanwhile, he told That's... some elaborate lie about how he was expedited back to Canada, and like, what the fuck, dude? That's so crazy. Like I get, I get doing things for theatrics and videos. Like I do it all the time with my videos for for things that like just can't be shown with like stock footage. Um, but for something like predator hunting, like in real time, it's, it's just, I don't know, man, it's just different. Yeah. Like you're actually playing with like real people's like real victims and, and like real like predators. Yeah, and making stuff. up and victims like, to pin on the potential pedophiles he's calling out. And literally yeah. in that video, IMVU, he docks the hotel where that Pablo Sunny person is and told his fans to go to that hotel. I mean, like completely unhinged. Yeah. But um, when, when was this conversation? Just like rough date. Creator Clash, so April. Okay. And, um, and you know, I appreciate you disavowing now, but I mean, like, I think it is a very fair critique, though, that you spoke to his credibility and, like, you know, about his IMVU video in the Pick a Side, even though, like, now you're kind of self-admitting that you never even watched the IMVU video, even though you, like, yeah. kind of publicly said on this platform that he exposed this public pedo reign on IMVU and that Pablo Sonny was a pedophile. Like, you, you did openly say that as a fact, you know? Yeah, and that's just that's my. That's I, I apologize for doing that. That's I should I should have vetted things more uh, when I was friends with him. But when you're friends with someone, typically there's a higher level of trust than I guess what I was given with Max uh, when it comes to like him telling the truth with me about things. And um, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm better than this at at a at picking who I associate with and 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 just believing max at face value for all this time has just, just been a mistake um max yeah. has hard, you... fired off a dono i don't know what he's talking about he said that two people sat you down at a table for two hours and warned you about max and then you blew them off do you know any context to what he's saying there two people sat me down about max and warned me yeah i don't know what he's he just it's a super chat so i don't know if you want to so elaborate the... magnet oh never mind so during the uh I guess the exes thing I think he's talking about. Yes, there was there was one time where um one of his actually two of his Discord mods uh had gone to his house with his ex girlfriend and him. And um basically the whole mood there was just really glum. Uh everyone was just kind of just down and out. Max was too. Um this was like I think right after it came out. I was freaking the fuck out because I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Um, and I came over and, uh, yeah, his his ex uh, gave me some context about the way he acts behind closed doors. And it's it was shit that I, I had never experienced firsthand. 
um, personally. And, uh, but, but it's like, it's, it's like mental stuff and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but there was a couple other things though. I just don't feel comfortable. I can tell you like in private, but I, I don't feel comfortable like just telling it live. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I can do um, here, or something if you want. I, uh, I wanted to ask, can you like speak to Max's credibility about anything? Oh. Like just general. Hold on one second. Nick, you believed Edwin. You trusted Edwin. How is Edwin in any way remotely comparable to fucking Max, dude? What? On Edwin's worst day, how are these even... Com like, I don't even think they're even fucking related. That's like an apple on a treadmill. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm sorry. Must, like, I mean, um, I've supported... I've, I've given him, like, a statement before, and... Oh, are you talking about, like, the pick-a-side thing? Yeah, I am. Oh. Like... Oh, the script. <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah. That, that, I mean, that I could, good. I could sympathize, I could sympathize with you, but I, I think it's like a really important thing to yeah. harp on. No, it's a, I mean, it's you kind of did like idea. openly say, like, here, if I, um, if you're fine with it, if I could just like play the clip real quick. Oh God, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um, let me uh, see if I could just pull it up here real quick. Um, because it's like you know, I know you didn't make the accusation, but still, like, kind of just like directly calling Pablo Sonny a pedophile. I feel like. You know, wh and by the way, where did you release this statement that um, was on the Reddit that I'm seeing? Oh, that was Patreon just now. I, I put out um, an early access script for my next video. That was the first part of it. I was just talking about like the next mystery I'm covering. And then the second part was uh, just kind of addressing that. Yeah. Um, so uh, here, let me uh, screen share real quick. That's fine with you. Yeah, that's fine. So I, I really don't want to come across like I'm bombarding you on stream. I just feel like this is like a very like legitimate thing. I think a lot of people necessarily want answers to because you've spoke to his credibility publicly and in a sense gave him the credibility to make other further accusations down the line because other creators like you and uh, Mudahar have spoke to him, giving him his status that he has today um, right. or at least used to. So uh, let me uh, see if I bump this up a little bit. Um, so, I mean, you know, that's like really, that's really fucking bad. Like, you know, I appreciate you coming yeah. out now, but that's yeah. really irresponsible. Like it's one thing it behind is. the scenes. If you want to trust your personal friend, you take him at his word. That's fine. But we're getting to kind of like Nick is not green, super mega territory where just because your friend said someone is a pedophile, you're openly, um, saying it on your public platform, you know, just right. like accusing him. Yeah, um, that's that's on me, man. I I should I sh I basically shouldn't have read his script without vetting anything. I I wish I could go back and you know ask more questions like it's being done now, um, but uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I pre I I appreciate it though. I appreciate it. That's uh you know that's the most you could do right now at least. You know that's everything yeah. you can necessarily yeah. do. Um, I guess, uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything else necessarily you wanted to s say about Max or like have a statement? Do you want me to finish like going through the statement that you said? Um, uh, no, basically, um, I called him a few days ago or not a few days ago, like a week or week or so ago. Cause I've just been so, so busy moving and I'm like, dude, what's going on? And he, it is bizarre, bro. Like he, he answered the phone, like what's up you sexy slut and i'm like Bro. <laughs> he's really happy shit shit's going crazy right now I, I told him he's basically dutch from red dead redemption too like he's like he's, i got a plan and not, everything's fucking on fire i'm like dude what's going on honestly and he was basically telling me like um kind of just downplaying the whole situation about camden how they got an investigation going and all that and then I cut him off and I was kind of just talking about like um, his responses to his patrons, um, the way he's been using chat GPT to, to respond to people like with essays and everything. It's and how like unprofessional and, and just, just frustrating that is as like someone who's giving legitimate criticism, including you, Lyrics and, and Nick. Mm -hmm. um, 
and just like just just responding like a robot and he cut me off there and he goes look i understand but you got to understand that as we approach the singularity and and i was like bro stop stop what? fucking talking to me like i'm a god like i'm a goddamn is he like foosy like, too like what happened do you do you know what the fuck you're talking i i know you person to person and you're talking to me about fucking singularity and shit like bro we live in 2023 not 20 fucking 60 okay like come down to earth and understand that everyone is is pissed off at you and frustrated with you about all the shit you're doing online right now and you don't realize that what the what you're doing is not just affecting you and your career it's affecting everyone around you because we've all stood up for you we've all talked for you and stuff in the past and and you constantly do this shit every fucking year and it never fails you said that you wanted to just crawl in a hole and make videos and you haven't fucking done that it's always got something's always got to come out where you've got to make a big controversy or make a big stink and, and the way you've handled the situation has been horrible and it was just like a total tonal shift with him he was like I'm so sorry about that, man. I I, I don't I don't want to I don't want you to feel that way. Blah 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 blah. But it's it's just frustrating because he will apologize to me. But when he goes on on like a video doing a response, he he just fucking that the apology was just horrible. And I'm like, dude, I I can't do this anymore, man. I can't keep up with everything going on. Dude, that apology, holy shit, it cue the girlfriend apology. at the end. It was not an apology. Yeah. It was Muda's well, dropping he said he was tomorrow. Taking... It's time to go. You know, yeah, we have to it was all a sympathy now. baits. Yeah. yeah it's just it's it's it was a hell mary it's to me it's it's heartbreaking because i at one point i really it's kind of crazy to say but I, I did look up to max like back in 2019 like because he's he is a really good uh storyteller in my opinion at least like with his old videos and stuff like when it comes to like fictional things like you know like haunted video games and all that like that's that's fun shit to cover and he was really good at doing yeah. that and um I don't know. He, he's inspired a lot of things with me for better or worse uh, with the way I like present my videos and, um, you know, like, like, like being his friend and stuff in person and like getting to know him like as Max, not Mama Max, just Max, like someone who gets up and goes to the gym or goes rock climbing or whatever the fuck else we did, just random shit. It, it just, it's heartbreaking because now like in my mind, I just remember that shit with Max as like just a person and and like the the stupid shit he does online has completely decimated everything. And I, I just can't support him anymore. I can't support this. I'm out, man. Honestly, I told him I'm fucking exhausted. I can't do this anymore. Now I'm sure you can't speak on like other people like directly, but I guess what's the overall morale of the friend group, I guess? So I've been uh basically keeping in contact with Mudahar about everything through this, and it's it's been uh basically the overall morale like between me and muda and like like crowley is that what you're talking about yeah yeah just generally like the people who have been around max i guess what is like the we're all dude we're all like what the fuck is happening <laughs> that's pretty much how it is like everyone's like like dude did we who the fuck is this guy like i know a clip just came out on on twitter about canceling charlie like what that was I, but here's the, the thing fuck, with man? charlie like so that slug guy is not credible. God, like, I don't know. I, it's possible that that's definitely what he said, and I can believe it based on everything else, but I need a bit more. Yeah. I'm not going to just blindly admit that. Oh, that's definitely the context that was set in, because that was a pretty... Yeah. yeah like, I, I can't know. be friends with someone that I've got to fucking, I guess, babysit every goddamn year. And it's just... it's That's not a friendship, bro. Like, I, we should just be doing our own shit, making our videos, you know, letting them stand on their own. Like he, bro, he always says he just wants to crawl into his hole and make videos, and he, he he's never done that. He's never on fucking pedophiles. Done that. That's when he, that's when he says he's at his happiest. Could you <laughs> believe when he said that like what's going on? Grift. Could could you believe when he said like catching pedos wasn't even his biggest thing? That's like his whole fucking personality <laughs> is he catches pedophiles. Like what the fuck is he talking about? He's just a filmmaker. He wants to make aesthetic videos. Um, but he could have a career doing that. That's why it doesn't make any sense. Because there's plenty of people like Nexpo. Like you you kind of do what he could do he's addicted he... to the attention yeah. and the validation he needs to be like a hero a hero he needs to be a filmmaker yeah. who's also a fucking hero which is weird he loves the I praise i also told him i also told him spencer uh this was during that one phone call like a week ago i told him spencer if you keep listening to her your career is over spencer is single-handedly ruining your career 
Yeah. You've got to stop. Yeah, she people. is. Did you see like she's pushing fucking Max to Sumuda? Like, did you see the leaked messages yeah, unhinged. there? Case, case in point, bro. She's like yes. the only example of anyone who thinks that's a good idea, dude. I literally. Yeah. That's... I don't know, dude. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't even seen Max moved uh, like a year and a half ago. And I, I've hardly even seen him since since besides like YouTube events. So seeing all this shit happens like, dude, you're a fucking state away and, and this shit's still going on. <laughs> yeah. Um, here quickly, I want to ask. So in that other uh, other confirmation, um, I just want to ask, did he tell you? Um, why he faked his videos or did he give him any like justification or reason because I like assume if you're like you're telling your fan you I mean your friend you've been lying to him for years he's got to give yeah. his justification or explain why you know did he ever explain that to you uh he did say that he has an issue with with uh lying <laughs> you could say that twice yeah, yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> so I was like okay well thank you for opening up now but, but he said he was trying to change back then and, and be better, which, again, I fucking listened to him. I was like, okay. But no, it's just... Nope. That, that, that's basically all his justification. He just says, I have an issue of lying, but I'll change when for you, the better. Yes. When you spoke exactly. to him, did, did he mention that um, Spencer is the financial advisor for the group and distributing <laughs> the money across to everybody? And if not... I, I found that you... out through Mudahar. Yeah, I mean, yeah. wow. That's it's just a it's a conflict of interest, man. And he can weasel his way out of it with wording like, "No, conflict of interest is actually technically this and that." No, dude, it's a conflict of interest. If a survivor's living with you, she's managing the money, and she's basically running the show and everything. If she tells you to stream and you stream, like, there's a conflict of interest. Dude, there, man. Kai's begging the... for diapers on Facebook while well, she's. <laughs> That's sad, dude. She's getting a whole insane. new YouTube channel dude. with fucking thousands of views. Um, you basically, you've got to have the, the, you, you've got to, I told him you got to have the, basically balls to, to say no. Like once, if the survivors say they want to stream, no, you don't, you don't stream. You stream when you're ready, not when they're ready. Cause when they're ready, that gets you in a situation like this, man. Cause you just go on stream and just say random shit and get, dig yourself into a hole. Yeah. <sighs> God. Um, do you know Sorry. if he ever had a hacker team that he always like claims that he has? A hacker team, yeah. not to my knowledge. He, with his, that was another fucking point with him. Like I, I, I always wanted to like see his timeline, like get like an in on what he does and everything, and just kind of see his process because it's. I think it's interesting. Like you were editors, right? You know, like talking about editing and shit is. We all do it, and it, he's always just been very closed, closed doors with everything when it comes to his videos. Like I've never seen one of his timelines before. So I don't know what the fuck it even looks like. <laughs> yeah, I imagine you know, if he's faking it, he probably does want to. He does want to keep it closed. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if if it's okay, if, if I could ask a couple questions from this guy called Queeman, he just has a couple questions for you if you're fine with that. Yeah, um, fine. He said, uh, "Ask." What's oh, up? Sorry, I, what's thought up gonna, I thought you were gonna bring him in. Never mind. I was just gonna fill the gap. Never mind. No, I was gonna say, uh, ask if Nexpo looked at the evidence slash allegations against Max, including his admission of behavior with Haley, before writing a character testimony. Um, looked at the evidence. I've been basically admitting to stalking and like harassing Haley for years. Like, or was he, that all news to you over when the video came she, out? Yeah, she he it took was, the account that me. she ran. I'm sorry, what did you say? Yeah, that was news to me. I was completely blindsided by that. Yeah, because I just I I spoke on. I just want to clarify that like I was speaking on my experience with his relationship with Pal. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that was it. I didn't know who the hell Haley was. I came in like after I think what's her name, uh, Ollie. Wait, so this is this is the part that's confusing me on this. I'm sorry to wheel back again. You commented on his relationship. I don't know. How do you say her name? Pow. Yeah. Pow. So you commented on her relationship with Pow. So, but you're telling me that his relationship with Pow was bad. So was your character what? testimony that his relationship was bad? Yeah, well, it was bad in the sense where he would come over to my house. No, and no. She what would... did you say in the video, though? Oh, I didn't say anything in the video. It was a, it was a text based testimony. Like I sent him a like a random text message of like just speaking on. I what I'm you know, trying to get at is, did you say like, oh no, Max doesn't do anything like that, but you knew like, oh, this relationship was actually super fucked privately. Like, is that what you're saying? 
No. So basically with, with Pal, like the, the way, the reason I spoke up about Pal was because in my experience, every time he would like come to my house, he would be there for like five minutes and then Pal would start just like blowing him up about everything, saying mm-hmm. she's going to run away, uh, calling him like a thousand times, like over and over and over. And this happened like every time he left her at home. She... So, so she was the toxic one of that relationship. Yes. Okay, that makes more. Okay, that is yeah, context. I I did not have. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot okay, more yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. That ma- okay. Okay. Yeah. No, that gets you know, it was just made a very awkward situation every time I went over there because I knew like how it was whenever Max was at my house, and then like when I went over there, it. it I don't know. It's just no, because you have you have like, to see I where I'm coming from like this because I, I didn't get that context, and you're saying like, yeah, dude, his relationship was fucking terrible. Anyway, I gave him a character yeah. testimony for this video <laughs> yeah. about his relationship, and I'm like, dude, what are you uh, talking about? Wait, bro? What do you mean? Just, yeah, yeah that's, it was kind of important to say that she was the problem. Okay, thank Sorry, you. I, yeah. I literally, I never go live. I'm just, I'm horrible yeah. live, and I apologize. No, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm, I'm yeah, glad we got to the bottom video, of yeah. that. Okay, I'm really glad yeah. we got to the bottom of that. Um, I wanted to ask um, in that conversation because this sounds like it's a really important confirmation. I mean, uh, conversation when he told you that stuff is fake. Any other relevant information that he dropped in that convo that would you know give any more like you know stuff about us? I mean, stuff about him. Any of any other things relevant that happened there? I'm trying to think, like the the big thing I'm gonna tell you guys because um, I I'm gonna tell you guys in DMs, but like. Not really. It was it was kind of just like about those few things. I'm tr- I'm honestly trying to think because like we were a few drinks in in this Uber, and you know like when you start you have a couple beers, it's like you know what, <sighs> fuck it, right? I'll just ask a few questions. Um, dude, no, not not anything that I can think of. If there is, I'll I'll let you know. Yeah. And did you cut contact with Max after that conversation, or just like what happened there after that? After that conversation. Uh, no, but it was very heavily reduced. Like, we we basically after Creator Clash. Bro, I'm so fucking glad I got to the bottom of that because I was so Uh, confused. I started Nick and Ryan with Nick Crowley, and we we just kind of started distancing ourselves from him. We had done that already after the Exes thing because we were just sick of being associated with shit like that. And I was like, every time I like think about Max and all this shit he's been through, like it just gives me anxiety. And I just, I didn't want to associate with that, but, um, yeah. like, like, but knowing Max, like as a person is like different, you know, like, like I, like I said, like in, in person, a lot of people can probably test, excuse me, sorry, but a lot of people can probably testify with this too. Like, uh, I, a lot of people have met him like, yeah. uh, plain rock, uh, wavy web surf, like all, all those guys, like every time we go to a YouTube event. Um, I'm sure they can agree that like in person he seems like pretty chill, pretty normal. And that's that's kind of the, the treatment I got every time I hung out with him. But um so no, I didn't completely cut contact with him because like I just I knew Max as a person. Um but, but you yeah, like you like stay your distance heavily. from that. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And, and then um, he would reach out like once in a blue moon, like, Hey, how y'all doing? But I mean we we responded when It was we never the same. It was no. Yeah. And um did you ever happen and that's it. Hey, I pieced it together. Okay, I pieced it together. I figured out what the fuck he was saying. All right, just for clarification, Pow is Paulina. Paulina was in the video. So next Poe was saying that basically what happened was uh, he was around Pow and well, Paulina and Max, and he, by his in, like what he saw, he thought Paulina was the toxic one. So when Max reached out, that was the statement he gave. That was really not what he just said in the call. But I think that's what he tried to say was that when he was with Max, he thought Paulina was really toxic. So when Max came asking for a character testimony about what like the relationship was like, he gave one about Paulina, which was then used to describe all the relationships or or something of that nature. So that was that was what that was. It was like, oh, you saw my girlfriend was a piece of shit to me. So can you tell everyone that she was a piece of shit? And he's like, yeah, sure. I think she was a piece of shit. That's what happened. Okay, that. But fuck me, dude. It sounded, dude. Did you hear what it said? Did you hear what he sounded like? He sounded like he was like, yeah, I saw this was super toxic. So I told him, I, look, I, I'm so fucking glad we figured that out before tomorrow, because that would have drove me crazy if we didn't get that right. Okay, it sounded way worse. Yeah, dude, a hundred percent. All right, I'm fucking happy that we figured it out. Like live and publicly, I remember that. So <laughs> was that like genuine, or were you just like kind of messing around with him? Because I, that's I, that song, dude. I. <laughs> 
Honestly, I, I always, like, would screw with him. and On Chud's stream, I think Muda said he saw one of the exes being really toxic. I, fuck me, dude. I think I heard a story about one of his exes being really toxic, but I don't, I don't know who it is, and I don't know if she's relevant to the story, and I don't remember enough that I can, like, definitively say it's, like, Paulina or something. But, again, I'm not trying to engage with that fucking girlfriend argument or whatever, but I think I've even heard that from something around VidCon, and that would be... Because somebody was saying that, like, his, one of his girlfriends was, like, a hacker, too. I don't think anyone knew anything about this guy. I, I don't even believe these people were even friends. They might claim they were friends, but I don't think they knew anything about each other. Follows in the slight references in his videos, too, where he talks about his fan base. He talks about interacting with hitmen, too, in Discord interviews. Is that, do you think, I think it's all a LARP, and he's just trying to look like a badass to his fans. But do you have any knowledge of him interacting with, like, hitmen? Or any of that bullshit? Yeah. None. Not a single one. Yeah. To my knowledge. Yeah. But, but um so no one comes after me. <laughs> People are saying ask me. Muda said the girlfriend he met at VidCon was toxic, and that was the VidCon I attended, because I heard a similar rumor. That's basically all I got though. I mean Okay, cool. Pretty much. If I don't want to like grill you too much, I know you said you're not a big live guy, but I appreciate you coming on. You didn't have to do this at all. But yeah, I, uh, course, man. I appreciate I, it. I, I just it's this has been kind of sitting on my chest for the past few days and i don't know it just feels good to just kind of come clean um yeah again i do apologize for for my i'm glad we cleared past, up the paulina really... thing because that did huh? not i'm glad we cleared up the paulina thing because that yeah. did not sound good <laughs> holy shit i'm glad we worked through that <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> but uh, yeah i do i do apologize for the support in the past and and i i i, I disavow everything he's doing this whole shit's a mess did and you yeah, I, before I you go did you out. see any of the shit that he was saying about tommy and like the qr codes where he was talking about like fucking him and stuff and anally like, fucking bro, him. I, <laughs> no <laughs> he was like talking <laughs> about like fucking you know. tommy in the ass in the middle of hunting a pedophile like, <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, he's like i'm sure you would like to give me a blowjob but i rather fuck you in the ass tommy like, uh, uh. <laughs> it's like what's there, what's the joke and what's What's well, not? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so someone saying real quick, uh, can you confirm that Pow is Paulina? Um, yes. Not sure. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. But um, I think that's basically everything I got here. I mean, I'm glad you're coming to clean about the Pablo Sunny thing. Um, I would. You, no, I'm not. No obligation doing it. Uh, sorry, did my wait, wait. Your mic just got really bad. Am I better? Hello, hello, yeah, hello. Yeah, you're back. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. But like, you know, I, obviously, I don't want to like push this on you because it's cringe, but. I, I think it would be like pretty justified to release like a public at least like Twitter statements like disavowing your appearance in his videos or at least the pick a side one where you openly call Pablo Sonny a pedophile. I think that's yeah. uh I think that would be a- appropriate, but I don't want to like cringe out and say that you're like obligated to do it. But I think it would be like it would it would help you out. It would just save no, you from been, the critique down the line, you know. It's been it's been coming. Like I that was the reason I put the the Patreon thing out first is just because I wanted to kind of find my words and everything and just kind of put something out before i put like a full public statement out but um yeah i just want to kind of just make sure it's everything is kind of concise and clear so it'll gotcha. come in due time why are people saying to ask right. about night docs what happened with night docs <laughs> ask about night docs what about night docs Dude, Hasn't he been like retired from YouTube? Is that like the whole oh, context? Oh, he's gone. I really want to talk to him because we had a convo about Max three years ago, and I'm really wondering what his position has changed to. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's. Uh, I think he's kind of doing his own thing now, like like videography, like for for something else. I'm not quite sure. I haven't kept up with him pretty much at all. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about what he's doing. I hope he's doing well. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's basically all. I appreciate you calling in. Cool. Appreciate course, it. Man. Uh I appreciate you coming forward of everything, you know, just taking and doing everything you can at, the, at least at this point, like just publicly yeah. disavowing. So I appreciate it. Yep. And, absolutely. Uh, I'll catch you later, man. All right. See you. All right. See you. Hello, Lewis. Nick. Bro, Nick. I'm so glad we figured that out, dude. Because that sounded dude. so bad for like a second. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to like I didn't want to spurg too hard, but Nexpo is really to blame there. For what? Next well, did you see the clip? Do you want me to play it to you and screen share real quick? 
Bro, you wait for this guy to leave the call, and you're like, damn, that dude sucks. Wait, did you wait? Did you mute? Did you mute? I openly I, confronted I, him about this. Are you, what, what do you mean? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, actually, I, I, no, I, I, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. As soon as he leaves, fuck this guy. Fuck this dude, motherfucker. What the fuck? <laughs> did they call me off guard. I thought I don't know. I didn't think you were gonna open up. No, no, no. I appreciate Nexbo calling in, but I'm sure he's even willing to say that, like, no, first and foremost, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, um. See you guys. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I appreciate you coming. <laughs> uh, dude, okay, I wasn't shitting on him. Why are you acting Bro. like I was completely shitting on him after he <laughs> what left? The fuck? It's not true. I, f I for it's one, think true. he was a fantastic guest. <laughs> he, he, I mean, he was. He, he was doing everything all the he questions. could. It was good, you know. Yeah, no, it was good. But to can be fair, I mean, the there's still very again? fair critiques you I, could have of the I guy. I didn't hit the screen um, share and I missed the clip. Can you tell me what he said? Yeah, you must. You must have deafened or something. But no, you know, I, I, I wasn't deaf. I wasn't in the room, so I it just. It got quiet. No, I, th I think you were. You just deafened or something. I think you were here. No, I would have. Okay, he, I keep on. Just play it. I'll explain after. Yeah, go on the screen share. Dude, KK with the fucking $99. What the fuck? Please tell Nick he has been raised to a 4 out of 10 on the I hate you meter. Get fucked, Nick. Dude, thanks, KX. I appreciate the $100 <laughs> to a different creator to send me something while I'm also live. That was really pre I really appreciate that. <laughs> that's so I that's hope Larix enjoys the money that you donated yeah. to him instead. I need it more than you, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. I really appreciate the donor. That's ridiculous. That's so generous. Oh seven, thank you. But um uh here, I just want to play you this clip real quick in case you missed it. Like this is what yeah. he says in the pick a side video. On November twenty sixth, twenty twenty one, my good friend Max published a video exposing the colossal pedo ring that is IMDU where he uncovered one particularly inveterate child predator known in-game as Pablo Sonny. So, like, the pedophile with an extensive history of grooming multiple teenage girls. And, to no one's surprise... You so, like, he's openly calling, like, Pablo Sonny a pedophile for, like, something that could, like, barely be confirmed. So, I th And he's also defending him in Pick a Side, which is less of a critique, but... Sure. You know, I think that's Do you think that's better critique. or worse or not no change if Pablo Sonny doesn't even exist? Um, That's a, like just probably a worse. No, I mean, probably better if he doesn't exist because then you're not actually victimizing someone, right? No, I disagree. I think it's, wow. I think it's equal. I don't think it matters. Well, you're, are you talking about from Nexpo's culpability or Mama Max's? Just the act of doing it, whether you know or you don't know. Obviously, making a comment like that without doing research, it's very similar to the things that, like, I really want to hear from that fucker Nuxtaku. Holy shit, dude. Do I want to hear from whatever the fuck he has to say? After. Nobody's asking Nuxtaku. I think we should ask Nuxtaku what he thinks, but uh, that's besides the point. Um, I think what, is that, like, what did Nakasaku say? You, did you see the clip of uh, the Moodus podcast? On the podcast? Yeah, when he's like, dude, I think that, like, well, Max hunts predators, and maybe it's, like, projection, and he's, like, afraid that, like, maybe Max will catch him <laughs> sooner if he doesn't expose him first. Yeah, I want to hear I mean, what Nux has to say about that one. I mean, to be fair, you got to hold the same standard to Leon, too. Leon Lush said that, like, same sure, thing. Sure, I don't know, it was Leon. Projecting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leon, that, that was fun. Yeah, that was, he did, like, the but, same thing. Yeah, Nux know, was like, oh, bro, them. it's projection. I want to, yeah, I want to hear what Nux has to say. Nux is just slightly more annoying, so. Nux is a VTuber, shit. so. <laughs> yeah. He's a VTuber. No, but uh, you're talking about his culpability on whether or not he was faked completely or whether or not it's well, a real person. I, I think it's just as bad to just make a baseless allegation like that. Because, I mean, if you find out the guy's fake, well, I mean, I guess you've been saved by the bell. But, like, it's pretty fucking bad, you know? Um, On the surface, yeah. But if... On the surface, yeah. From, it's like, it's, it's almost, still bad that he didn't do. It's but, not I mean, worse, it's, but it should be worse. Because then at least you don't even know if it's a human being with, like, a beating heart. And you're just going to call him a pedophile. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, similar thing with Mudahar, I could sympathize with him because it's like literally this was like the guy's friend behind the scenes. Just, I like, criticized Muda in my video. I had no problem doing that. The difference between all these people and Mudahar is Mudahar has moved hell and high water to get this situation resolved. Mudahar is yeah. like dedicated the entire week of his life to like figuring out stuff with Anthony and potentially working with the victims privately if there's anything to actually track down. He's willing to take that on without yeah. fucking without doing it as a soldier for fortune uh, online or whatever. Like, he, he's down to literally dig into this fucking situation and help every party because he fucked up about it. That's what separates Mudahar from everybody else here. Yeah, absolutely. And also having a... He's got the biggest vi video on the topic. You know, that cracked a million views today. Dude, Oompaville didn't show up for work that day and dodged the biggest bullet of his career. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast, yeah. Dude, he literally blew him <laughs> off and he just... Yeah. Yeah. But, um, no, that's basically all necessarily. That's so interesting that fucking, I thought I was getting trolled at first in the chat, but, uh, 
No, interesting call in. I was gonna I was gonna go more of over the leaks, but uh Oh my god. Silly? Uh KX do not take this extra one point you have gained as a sign that you are less hated. You are not. It is solely out of belatedly Christmas hate bonus. I, I can't read. It is solely out of belatedly Christmas hate bonus and for better video editing. Thank you so much, Mr. KX, for the for the hundred dollars. I you have redeemed yourself. Oh, he gave, he gave you hundred too. Yeah, redeemed. <laughs> You've redeemed yourself. <laughs> Nick, when when the fuck's the when the when's the call coming out? Listen, buddy, when you're holding the whole deck Silence of cards, fills, you ever play? Silence you ever play? Room. You ever play Blaze and Eights lyrics? No. Blaze and Eights is like Uno, but there's a card that lets you switch hands with people. It's a really fun game. But when you have a big hand and you have a switch in your hand, and you know the person has one card, and it's a red card, and there's blue in play, okay? You know that no matter what happens, they're not going to win on their next hand. So you could just okay. sit there and just, just just let them marinate for a little while, and then when they least expect it. <laughs> no, okay, no, you're you're cucking us though. You're not even cucking Max at this point. Max is fucked, and also he's not going to make another move. Did you see his Patreon? Two years, you're fine, guys. You can wait a couple <laughs> extra days. Did you see his Patreon post? There's a plan for this. All right, I, I, as Mama Max once famously said, "I have a plan." Slimy Weasley, fuck. <laughs> Do not take the extra one point you have gained as a <laughs> No, but dude, his Patreon hated. post where he showed you a picture not. of you it's as Derek Chauvin kneeling on his neck. And for better video in that Patreon editing. post, he, on a, he was like doubling down completely saying that, yeah, you, that saying that you guys were the manipulative influencers. Did you read what was on screen with that? It's so funny. Dude, it's, it's me as Derek Chauvin kneeling on George Floyd and the caption is, <laughs> We are standing today at a pivotal moment in the history for the voices of child sex crime survivors. Like, what the fuck, dude? Holy shit. Dude, did you see shit. that clip of him? This is like oh, the, did, wait. the fucking MLK of pedophile hunters here, dude. What dude, the fuck? Have you, wait, have you seen I my video? Have you seen that, that clip of him with Martin Luther King? you subscribe to my Patreon. I'm Slimy sorry, what were you saying? Fuck. Dude, you gotta see this clip. I don't know if you watched my video, but him having MLK on his wall in the background... This is the funniest no, clip of You're mankind. Kidding. Kidding Dude, he is ML he is Martin Luther King on his fucking background saying no. he's his inspiration and no. it keeps him on his mission. I can't believe you you haven't seen this. Dude, this is fucking hilarious. Wait, let me uh let me pull this up and Opera GX is the shittiest fucking It's not Opera GX. Time. I found out today if you have any ad block installed, YouTube throttles you even if you have premium. Dude, I think Opera GX has an like automatic ad blocker. Unironically. Oh, you just shut off it's your thing. All right, here we go. Yeah. Dude, this is the funniest clip in the fucking world. Get this. Wait, Nux issued an apology on the Some Ordinary podcast? Wait, why did no one send that to me? I would love to... Re okay, keep going. Okay. Alright. You looking at a screen share? Yeah, yeah, Look at this shit. Convicted nothing. Dude, yeah, I love these guys. Uh, always <laughs> keeps me... <laughs> keeps me on my mission, I think. And the importance of my mission. Of our mission. What mission? You haven't done shit. Is that MLK on his wall? <laughs> you break. Uh, no! Because of the Dude, he has Martin Luther fucking King on his background. Keeping called, him on his mission. It's called milieu control, okay? It's one of the eight things by Robert J. Whitaker that is about cults. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Dude did just you his overall demeanor. The, did you listen to any of the QR codes I put in the video? No, I did, yeah. Did you hear the one where he's like, I told you to platform Spencer. And I'm like, I run a show called Rape Review. Ultimate Max. Rape Review. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't want, you don't want Spencer on fucking Ultimate Rape Review. <laughs> Dude, what is this? Wait, I don't want Spencer on what? Rape Review. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> but, uh. And David Hoggins is on his wall. He named his Camden thing, You Can't Hurt Me After David's Book, lol. Oh, no. But, dude, just uh, here, one more time. You, you just, like, look at his face when he delivers this line. It's so funny. It keeps me... Yeah. Slimy, Weasley keeps fuck. me on my mission, I think. <laughs> the importance of my mission. Of our mission. <laughs> Unbelievable. The deep size. Jeez. That's just so funny, man. Dude, it's so good. Hold on, Xyli just donated five and said, fuck you, Nick. You're abusive in Blazing Eights. Dude, I actually, like, dude, you, the only rape that has come out of this entire investigation is what I do to people in Blazing Eights. All right, we have to play this one day. You don't understand. 
So, dude, you could stack, like, 50 cards in your hand and then use a switch and then, like, fuck somebody with 50 cards and take their one card and then win the game. And one time I did that three times in a single game to Xylee. And I just, she kept, like, just putting out the whole hand and then I would just get 30 more cards and give them to her. And she'd be like, what the fuck? It was one of the funniest <laughs> nights of my life, dude. Holy did you shit. S- did you see uh did you see any substantial things from that fucking slug? Uh No, I don't I didn't watch Slug. I don't want to I mean, give Slug any clout. We all warned Max that Slug is like a fucking retard that's not to be trusted. And you know what you know what he did? What's that? He dumped everything he had on Max the minute the tides turned. This guy literally <laughs> that's all he does. You know he did this to he literally did this to me like a month ago. And then he begged me for a job. And then Max hired him, and then he did it to Max. That's literally this guy's lore. Is he just fucks you and then tries to get clout off of it. And if you give him the clout that he wants off of it, he ends up getting hired by somebody else and fucking that guy. That's all he does. Dude. Holy fuck. Dude, Nick. I know I said this a little bit earlier. I just got every screenshot from the entire evidence Discord server. (laughs) I just got every single screenshot. You have all the evidence now? I have every fucking screenshot in that server. You should take it to the police and see what happens. (laughs) We're taking over this fucking case. Dude, we got the case. <laughs> Dude, you just, Dude you holy you the <laughs> I have like 500 messages from this person who just leaked the, the entire thing. So now it's like absolutely confirmed. No, that like, it's so we're so we're back. We're 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 not Jover. We're Biden back. And dude, now it's absolutely confirmed that Max, that screenshot of him baiting Mudar, is real. Oh. I mean, uh, at, at oh, taking wait, him to you court is real. Wait, 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 you should be careful when you leak that. You should not leak that in its entirety. Okay. I mean, I'm getting. I'm. I'm I will. Everyone's like sending me so, someone else. No, 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 oh, this There's is. There's a completely uh, different no, other source. No, this isn't funny. No, it's actually not funny. I actually feel really bad. Fuck. Okay. So one, part of the reason the call isn't directly out is I have to go out and edit something because they're telling me that there's somebody whose like life is potentially in fucking danger because they only got out recently, and like apparently they're like identifiable or something like that it's like i don't want to put any information out there about that person but now if you're leaking everyone's fucking names in the group chat it's gonna get leaked no i didn't leak everyone's no, names. no no you didn't do it i'm saying but i mean at this point it doesn't matter if it went to you it's gonna go to everybody this thing's out yeah exactly and like smaggle already put it on uh the, like these like <sighs> dms i don't know i just feel bad because it's not like because not the thing is, Max is fucked, but most of those girls, we don't even know anything about them. I don't. E- I can't tell you they're malicious. I've never heard. An- I've never heard them say anything. I don't even know what they're claiming to ha- have happened. Max hasn't platformed them, and Max apparently hasn't even spoke to them. And they're gonna get their shit aired out for this. I don't know. I feel bad. I mean, yeah. Like here, I, I, look in that chat. Who the fuck is Victoria? I do you know who Victoria I mean, yeah. is? Does she deserve to get no. shit for this? Oh. No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This just sucks, man. Max is such a fucking douchebag for doing this to all these girls. It's all his like fucking fault though. I'm like I'm getting I'm getting like DMs from like some random shitter leaking me the whole Discord. Like this is all this is fucking It's what he fucking asked <laughs> this... for. It's what I warned him yeah. about. This is what everyone warned him about. This guy got the most charitability of ever Dude, this guy has so many connections. They fucking let him go on for so long. This guy has had every out and he's just retarded. Yeah. Dude, why are pe- okay? So many people are fucking literally creaming to add Smaggle. Are we allowing? Oh, do we want this? I want to add Smaggle. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's get Smaggle in here. Smaggle, Smaggle's a Resinsburg here. We love Smaggle. Dude, also thank you for the. We, we got fucking like twenty three hundred live viewers. What the fuck? Actually, what the fuck? Thank you for all the support. That's literally just nuts. Fucking saying that for 15 minutes. Add me, add me, add me. Okay. I have to have add me, add me. You I, fucking, I they all fucking are die. You okay? Are you okay? I am going to strangle your fucking neck, dude, in Minecraft, you, okay? Why are you, like, spurging? <laughs> dude, so I, wa- I want to know, who the fuck is leaking your sh- Who Who's leaking the thing, and can I get the... Discord, Wait, so I can see it as What well. is wrong with you? You called in. What do you for mean? That? This you called in for this retarded shit? No, I was gonna call you in because I was gonna Smaggle. say that Sen is leaking the messages, but you already said Sen that you have the messages. So be gone, no, this Smaggle. same person, the same person who came to me. Yo, holy <laughs> fuck, Nick, 
Nick. God strike Nick. me down like I am Mama Christ. Max and Martin Luther King. <laughs> you are <a> cancer. <laughs> okay. No, okay. Fuck, what was I even saying after that? Nick, you are retarded. Okay, Smack, Smack the same person who's leaking me the whole Discord so is the tired. same person who went to Sen. That's the same person. Oh my god. Um it's what oh, dude, no. dude the lyrics we were just fucking talking about how this was gonna happen it already happened we're already living it yeah <laughs> so the important things that i've seen so far is basically uh spencer saying that the call is really bad for uh, yeah, i'm sure max she's yeah. uh, she's also saying the betcha. lawsuit is really good for max so i don't know if she's really a good gauge for what we should do. yeah yeah <laughs> And then also, Max is trying to lay low until the Camden guy is arrested, which... Oh, so we're just never going to hear from him again? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's Nick, the best that's, thing Nick. I heard so far. No, no, Nick, that's that's what I was mentioning to you in his Patreon post. You saw what he said, right? No. He said in his... Dis- he de- oh, you didn't... Did you not read his description? No, what is it? Here, let's go through his description real quick. Dude, he's going to get his first pedophile arrest. <laughs> no, he... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good one. He announces in his description that... um. He's not releasing any statement to any of the critics or anyone until he gets this Camden case done. Okay. So never. <laughs> guys, Camden's Fucking leaving never. the he's leaving the internet, guys. Max is quitting. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Max has officially um, quit YouTube. You've heard it here first. Let me uh, see. Uh it should be Right Dude, around. Camden's gonna rob a liquor store or something and get arrested for armed robbery, and Max is gonna be like, "See, see, I told you this was the method. I told you there's a method to the madness." <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Kane, for the membership. Thank you. Um, here, let me jump. Uh, where is this? What do we got? Wait, uh, do you think it's possible that the feds can peg Camden? Well, I, Mama Max pegged him first, so he's already peg he's Camden. Ripe. He's ripe, dude. He's, he's good. I don't think that's what he meant though when he asked me that question in chat. <laughs> dude, did you all see Mr. Girl's response? Dude, there's so much retarded. Shit. Dude, I guarantee he just tweeted that because I tweeted out, "Bro, we should get a diss track." Wait, did you see what people wrote about Mr. Girl? No. Oh my! I watched somebody violate him. I I th- this again was probably the second instance of sexual assault in the case. Hold on, let me find this. Um, where is? Well, second confirmed to be clear. Let's be charitable. Um, where is? Dude, where Solid is Shibe came back to the internet to disavow Max today. Well, <laughs> dude, what is what is, what is this fucking? I'm trying to find the statement. Hold on, pull this up. Dude, my computer's pull crashing. Pull this up, buddy. You little fucker, pull this up. Where are what you? Are we, what are we pulling up? I'm, I'm getting on Discord. I am so sleepy. I don't know why I'm streaming. Fuck me. Um, here. Pull this up. This is a legitimate post from the subreddit. All right, let me see. Um, okay, so... What is this? Mr. Girl Redemption via Mama Max interview. <laughs> Anyone else think Mr. Girl would have an amazing redemption arc by thrashing this Mama Max clown? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please can this become a thing? Two delusional bearded guys called Max who refuse to take any advice or criticism for their investigations into people they claim to be beyond re- uh, redeemable. Both claiming to have dozens of victims, dozens of victims who have spoke to them on record. But the Max, are they talking about Max's like case on Destiny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he says he has Go dozens of girls that have come out against Destiny. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's literally the same. <laughs> Uh, Max has refused to release the evidence. Their investigations have been so badly done that the people they've gone after are actually guilty. They've harmed any actual case against them through their incompetence. What actual case did Max ever have against Destiny? Give me to a say that he was break. abusive to his ex-girlfriends. Although he's saying is, if it was real, then they've harmed the evidence. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I guess so. If Camden was real like... or if Destiny was really abusive, like yeah, I mean, it's just a joke. I don't know. I don't think it's. I don't think you have to pull too much meaning out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, dude, where is this um? I'm trying to find this description he had. By the way, you can clip and ship it. Lyric says that Mr. Girl should have a redemption arc. If you play it out of context, it sounds True. like True. Dude, the, the detractors Dude. are going to love hearing about that. Wait, I didn't even see what Mr. Girl said. Was Mr. Girl defending Mama Max? I didn't read through it fully yet. No, he just called this all sociopaths. Oh, because Mama, very, just Mama like Max has called Mr. Girl pedophiles multiple times. Yeah, he said, okay, would you debate Mr. Girl on our podcast? And he goes, I don't debate pedophiles. I guess he just sent yeah. some pictures of his ass, so... I'm glad he cleared it up. He just he sex them. Dude, it goes it. deeper. Wait, have you seen the genius video? No. Holy shit, Nick. I'm about to drop a fucking <laughs> Nick, you have to see this. We're gonna go over we're gonna go over this description of his like Patreon. The, I like the sound the of that. Video. I'm gonna drop a Nick. I like the sound <laughs> okay. of that. I'm gonna drop um, a Nick. 
Okay, Smag Smaggle, thank you. Yeah. We're so I'm so glad I brought you in. Okay, so yeah, this is his go. this is his description of his Patreon vi uh, video. Mm -hmm. I'm currently dedicating my time to the case of Camden Jarrett Davis and as such cannot address the myriad of rumors and accusations that are constantly arising. Following the comp completion of this film, our next project, Silence All Survivors, which is his response that he said in his apology video with quotes, that's going to be his response to all the critics, Silence All Survivors, is set to commence. This film aims to delve into societal behaviors perpetuated by destructive influencers, aka you, who incite hostility towards child survivors. He's really going Bro, hard on this. This is what he said in my DMs. Who the fuck is a child survivor? This bitch is like 25. <laughs> okay, good one, dude. She was 16 when she was apparently raped. Okay, Chill. dude, do I have to talk to her Chill. like she's still 16? Because I feel like Mudahar has to send her fucking child support. She's acting like a fucking grown-ass toddler. <laughs> okay. okay, is she still 16? Because I can't tell. Hey, dude, Nick. Hold on, hold on. Another 99. Like... Thank you so much for the dono. Please get some heat and better internet, you rage slave. I really appreciate it. Thank you. That's beyond generous. Thank you so Dude, much. Ridiculous. Hold on. So, if Augie was covering the situation, would he invoke the high school context for this situation? <laughs> Shut the fuck yeah. up. He would. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Can't wait. All right. Dude, what's the high school context behind Spencer luring a 13-year-old girl into the <laughs> and raped? What's the high school context there? My like, question. What? Okay. My question to you is, would you interview... Like Cameron LeBron, the completionist. Yes, <laughs> yes. That, that those optics would be retarded, but they would be just as good as my fucking optics of interviewing. Why we know the, just as much about him as we know everybody Dev else in this situation. Victim. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. We're, we, I, I want to platform counter narratives, as fucking uh, you know, Mama Max said. Oh yeah, dude. Speaking of the fucking call, I know you leaked this in one of the QR codes. It sounded like Max was cocking his fucking shotgun. Oh, I didn't hear. Did that. you hear that? No. Wait, you didn't hear that? No, that was I your didn't own hear clip. That. I didn't hear it in the clip. Was he? I thought someone dude, was Nick. joking. Dude, I got so much shit to show you. <laughs> dude, Holy <laughs> fuck, man. Dude, can somebody make it? Can somebody fucking make a? Um, can somebody do an artistic depiction of Max on a call on a Discord call with us, holding a shotgun in his mouth with tears draining out of his eyes? I think that'd be a really <laughs> that'd be a really funny artistic piece for my Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so, so, so like basically that's his statement that he says in his description is that he's going to address it after he handles the Camden case like lol um cool but uh okay so let me um let me pull up this fucking uh, what, what was I pulling up one of your QR codes Colton sent it to me in DMs Let's see people because he's literally cocking a gun it sounds like he's loading the bullets like I thought people were memeing at no, first there's no way dude I I know I thought the same thing Nick I thought the same thing Nick he would it's when no it's when he was way. dude it's when he was talking like hyper aggressive he sounded like Jalen in these clips um dude, okay Spencer get a load of pulls this. out like the Josh Peck like whoa take it easy man <laughs> <laughs> yeah so okay listen to this wait I'm not hearing anything oh I'm not in the thing again fuck okay do it again yeah go on go on screen share play me my clip let me, let me pull this in fucking uh let me pull this up not in opera fucking dude, yeah. opera fucking DX, dude. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let me, uh... fortunate to see what Muda would say about you on a live stream. Why was Max telling everybody that Muda... Something playing? All right, here we go. I heard it. Oh, it's gone now. What the fuck? All right, here we go. Here we go. Leave it. Like, Muda's seen it. It must be good. That there, is, that there is evidence there. Um... Even if it's unsubstantiated at the moment, and he doesn't know the context. Sorry, okay. Here we go. Muda, Muda, Muda. All right. You can hear it? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Is it playing? Because now I can't hear it. Yeah, it's it's not playing. It's not playing? Oh, you can't go full screen, my guy. Oh, I'm not I'm not full screen. Oh, then. Well, I heard it for two seconds, and you're like, can you hear it? And I'm like, well, I heard it, but now I no, I can't. Uh, let me hear. Let me redo it. Sorry, this is fucking cancer. Fucking use brave, dude. Yeah, you using fuck up. Be soft. Okay, here we go. Tell me if you can hear this. But, like Muda's saying it, it must be good. That there is yes. that there is evidence. Okay. You can hear that? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, even if it's unsubstantiated at the moment, and he doesn't know the context, like I said, he could have gone in there. Well, Muda has to come out and clarify that that it's not actionable because now it's attached yeah. to his name. People are looking at it as this is Muda approved. Publicly saying he's seen some of what we are showing. When you make me sign an NDA, 
that's with the victims, and then you used me as cloud capital to describe that I've seen the evidence, therefore it must be substantiated, I have to step in and say, I'm not making that claim. I saw the evidence, yes. What is, is it evidence that's happening? What is that? It's what you're asking for when you're asking for Anthony Fantano and you're asking for uh, Joe Rogan. Nobody asks for Dude, Joe Rogan so for altruistic reasons. You want other people. What's up? That's that guy so base who's talking right now. People to say that you're doing a good job so that nobody questions That's what you're not, actually doing. That is not what I want. Well, that what do you want? Because they want can't show evidence. So what could you possibly get they, from they, them other how than- How many times do I have to tell you? You can show evidence. You have to get approval from the survivors. Where was your approval? Dude, what were you thinking in this moment when he fucking raised his voice like this? I was, I was, I, honestly, I was thinking of the punchline that's about to come. I was, I was yeah, loading well up for this punchline. Approval, because that, that should have been your, then it, clearly you haven't been speaking to your own survivors, because I guess you didn't have any fucking approval to put it in any of the three videos that you release. But on the fourth video, I'm sure all that evidence would have been there. I have gotten approval from every single one of them for everything I've shown. And for everything so for I'm all doing, of the nothing that you've shown, you've got everyone's doing, approval. I've been getting their <laughs> approval. I thought the NDA was because showing the evidence would cause it to be inadmissible in court. We had this that was a banger the line. Term. There's multiple reasons why we have the NDA. The most important is to protect the survivors and their evidence. If they want it shown, then they you are allowed to show it. If they don't want it shown, then you are not allowed to show it. It's okay. that simple. Well, evidently, I've done more than any other influencer, and I've spent two hours of my life in this call. And I've tried to get to the bottom of this. I've tried to get into it. And as combative as this call has been, I haven't been, I haven't, I haven't shifted myself closer to any one side because there's just nothing compelling that's been thrown in this direction. It's all a testimony and it's all there. And yes, I personally do believe that there has been some malfeasance. Is there proper evidence of a cult that I've seen? No. Is there proper evidence of people being actual pedophiles in this? Haven't seen a full confirmation of that yet. And there are a lot okay of it's when spencer starts talking beyond just everything that we've discussed that has now been circulating because of your mishandling of this case on your subreddit throughout the internet that is bringing more doubts into this entire situation so no this is not on me this is not on anybody this is entirely on you and i've done my part that's my really part. that's really hmm? childish to say actions a show that's called rape well entertainer who says like this it's it's oh i'm sorry wait what was what the show talking called? about control that is called materia Fuck, this is the wrong clip. Oh my Good god. Good job, dude. Nice one, Bo. Yeah. Fuck, okay, okay. I, I, I have to show you this, because it's so fucking funny, dude. It's so fucking good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let me, uh... Okay, buddy. Alright, buddy. Okay, here, it's not that clip. Um... Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're retarded. How's Flamenco doing? I don't I, He did not like the new video, I was told. Someone wrote me and they went, Dude, you made Flamenco canon to the main channel. <sighs> what is this one? I'm in a new Discord server. I'm not going to start. Okay, I'm not just going to click these fucking sound effects. I've learned <laughs> that lesson. Yeah. People don't always do name these things correctly. Here, dude, Colton, send it to me in the meantime. Nick, you, Nick, I'm going to show you this fucking genius dude, video. Dude, fucking Max was sitting there, and he's like, you know what I'm going to write about Tommy C? Dude, oh. I want to rape him in the asshole. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> now come. <laughs> You're retarded. <laughs> okay, let me share this. That's crazy. Anyway. All right, here we go. <laughs> share screen. Dude, these clips are like three minutes each. What is taking so long? By the way, Dude. thank you to KX for the uh, $49.99. It's ma'am! Okay. You say survivor and you know what you went through and don't Wait, if you don't want what the fuck? This isn't even my video I think as No, 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 no. Here, someone's going to send me that in the meantime. Oh my god, but bro. To give me the right clip of the gun allegations. But you have to show this. So let me just load this up real quick. Dude, he load explains, me up. He explains he does a genius parody explaining every line in his rap video and he talks in depth on how he wants to fuck pedophiles oh god that's so weird this is this is gonna this is great dude feeling broken lonely and victimized but regardless please skip this section <laughs> if you don't want to be triggered because that is not my goal now you're the prey and we're the pred is me telling pedophiles that they are not predators anymore they are the prey of the children and now it is time to get murked for what they did Dude, he's reclaiming the slur. He's reclaiming the word back. 
Well, I'm glad he called Dude. himself a predator because that's exactly <laughs> how he treats his Discord, his uh, his paid members and shit like that by lying about investigations. But, uh, fake. Yeah, yeah. So like, for all the autistic people who don't understand what he's talking about, it's basically like uh, he just said the he's gonna puppet. Kill pedophiles. And... No, 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 no. It's the it's the puppet in FNAF protecting the children from William Afton. Yeah, okay, dude. That's, that's not me saying, um, oh, now children are pedophiles now. No, I do realize that a small number of CSA victims end up becoming pedophiles, but that's not what I'm saying here. I'm saying food chain-wise, pedophiles are not predators. Bruh. I, I hate this guy. Dude. But that's not pedophiles are not predators they are they are the prey of the collective humanity because i think as a species we want to destroy anyone who would harm our children uh, what, a, what a profound so yeah, we're the prey of message not yeah. pedophiles we are can you believe uh, that so he yeah, had the ball to say to something feed. that dramatic like i mean there are very few people who would say something as profound as what max just said right there <laughs> you know if he said something about a firing squad i legitimately think he might have been canceled Dude, we need a Mr. Girl fucking Mama Max collab. Mr. Girl Mogs, though. No, it needs music. to be like His an epic rap battle hard. of history. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, hold on. Anymore. Isn't it weird Don't that Mama Max has never targeted his fans against lollicons? Isn't that weird? Yeah. And he's I'm defended his head by using the past. Heads, but this, also is him, this is him defending his headline. Also saying that they're going to give me head when I'm skull fucking them in hell. My little plaything till the end is as if he's gonna skull fuck them in hell. To say I don't mind being in hell since I feel murdering pedophiles is justified. It's by all means, send me to hell. Dude, how brave I'm is just this gonna guy, man? Oh, it's Dude, he's a martyr. bravery. Holy fuck! He's, the, he's is a there martyr a medal for of all honor? Of us. Can, you, can we rip a medal of honor off of a fucking cringy World War II vet and give it to this guy? <laughs> he's so fucking brave, dude. Oh my, it's just fucking. He's willing to go to hell for us. Him. Yeah. Hell for all the CSA victims. Holy shit, dude. Dude, no, one, way, no oh. one has the balls to say such insanely brave <laughs> stuff. Burn in damnation for, for eternity to save the save the world Continue of pedophiles. Continue to do what I've always done Martin with their my fuck the link, doll. By the way. Especially since yeah, we'll get that is how they perceive children. See what you made of these kids? They are witnessing a hell of their own making, and this circles back to the fact that they are the prey of the very children they preyed on. And that's why I then repeat the first. Dude, can two somebody bars tell me this. why fucking Here Gabby had a verse. better fucking genius thing than this guy? <laughs> when she when when she did that like terrible song, is this like a fucking joke? <laughs> yeah. You'll notice with most of my verses, I try to at least use double. Yeah. It's crazy how we still haven't left the manipulation station. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. This took Lyric so long that I found the timestamp he's talking about in Muta's video. I think it's Muta. Today's video is the most something. serious I might have made in my entire yeah, career on this platform. It's a video I don't want to make because it's personally so uncomfortable. Let's see, uh, 114 of his video. Yeah. I want to find this is the gun thing. Um, that was it? For the thing? I don't want to show too much of it because that is Patreon only. No, dumbass, you went ch -ch, and I'm like, was that the sound? Oh my god, that was a gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the motherfucker. No, okay, here we go. Let me screenshot this. Dude, I'm telling you. No, Nick, I thought this was a meme at first. Okay. Look at this. Sh you gotta take a look at this shit. Dude, meme right, creamy, go. dude. Let me see the memes. Oh, I gotta get in another the watch together. Trial. Yeah, if that it is fake. Is dude, okay, okay, okay. So fucking heartbreaking hearing Muta sit there and say that, oh, if this is fake, then I'll I'll gladly put money towards uh, Camden's defamation trial. Yeah, if that it is fake. Oh, okay, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Yeah. Okay, I have to, I'll level with you. That was my shotgun. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> no, it no, sounds but like this Muta's point... just playing with something. I don't know if that's even in my version of the cut. No, 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 it is. I saw it, I saw it in your fucking, uh, it was in your QR code. I just can't find the clip right now. I promise you. I promise you. That just this sounds is, like someone dude, banging wooden blocks just, together. No, 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 listen. Like it gun. first sounds like Lincoln Logs, but then he fucking cocks it back. Give it, give it time. Saying it's allegedly. Now all of a sudden. It's real? No, no, there's no, no like. Dude. 
Um, All right, shit. jackass. That's being what picked the... up by a. Mi- that's being picked up by Muda's mic. That's not being. It's not on my cut. That is. That is not true. No, it's. It is a hundred percent true. You're. You're mistaken. I don't think I released this clip. You did. It was a QR code. I'm not retarded here. No, Listen I again. put out Listen. cult.exe was the one that you played. I think evidence.exe was him explaining of the evidence. Then there's. I don't remember, dude. I don't think I put that clip. Chat. Did I put that clip out? He did, dude. I could go back to my last stream. I reacted on it last stream or like a couple streams ago. I swear to you. Lyrics, you're sleep but dude, deprived. Oh, wait, no, that's I'm, just me. One more time. A Camden's defamation trial. Yeah, if that it is fake. Was, I thought you said it's fine with saying it's allegedly. Now all of a sudden. It's there's real? No, no, there's no, no like, the thing other is. Side. Like, dude, those sound effects, we... it's like plausible deniability, plausible deniability, we... and then. Yeah, but we don't know if it's seconds. real. Holy shit, that's not. something um and i feel like saying it's a leg committed a crime and now all of a sudden oh, it's real no, no. there's no hold on oh my god i thought that was it i thought i heard it that could trip me out but that's his fucking video striker look me up i have nothing um specific no and that is why i've been asking for help nick why the hell did you make a statement of fact call you for help if they knew what to do back to mm-hmm. and i was trying to hospital and oh no that's not even close do this, you know? um, thing is my brother could live with we nope that's not where it's getting aggressive where is it loud Contacting, uh, no. People are inflamed with you Who right left? now it's because Lyrics left. You, you just. So, I guess that's the you know your entire story, your experience with Camden. Is there anything you feel, Spencer? You... Wait. Yeah, where did, the Oaks just did, fucking left. The Oaks left because he saw you deafen. I'm trying to find the, the fucking not clip. ticking now. You ha- <laughs> the thing is, you're trying to get all not responding to the dog with you. Uh oh. <laughs> but the thing is, I understand that. But with these allegations, it's gotta be right here. Yeah. Nicholas is live streaming. And, and who else? I knew this shit was gonna come regardless. Oh, it wasn't. He survived. Can we? He's wrong. He's just wrong. I'm. I'm confirming. He's wrong. He's wrong. Lyrics ran. He's wrong. Is he? Yeah. Oh, he is. Yeah. I don't know. I no, I have no idea. I'm just. I can't find the clip. But he's. He's wrong. He's incorrect. Trying to get him back into the fucking. Dude, ring him back. Dude. I want to hear that clip he's playing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Dude, he's is. doing. He's doing pedo control right now. That's one of the nine cult. The cult classics from from <laughs> the the eighties. You know. The nine cult deadly sins. He's doing N word control. <laughs> <laughs> My god, dude. The two things the lyrics cannot do is read his chat and fucking answer Discord calls. And that is high DMs. Easily fuck. And high DMs, yeah. Alright, I got a bunch of donuts. I gotta go through real fast then if we're not gonna be on stream with the rapes. Um, let me see. Mike the Bike with 10. Glad to see you upload again, Nick. When you get a chance, can you check Discord? I thought it's something that could be fun to work on if you're interested. Have a good rest of your stream. Reynold Hughes, thanks for the $10. It took lyrics so long that I found the timestamp. I read that one already. KX said, it's ma'am. KX also said uh, the other one. Thank you so much for the 100. I appreciate it, buddy. Germ, thank you for the 70. Uh, if it made $95 less, but at least the money wasn't funneled by werewolf va- vampires. Thank you so much. Germ with another five saying, I'm going to keep it 100. They all knew, but they thought they could keep them on a leash if they talked privately. A uh, dollar from TBG Candy sent me a cake emoji. Somebody gifted five subs. And okay, we're caught up. We are caught up, gamers. Thank you guys all so much for the support. I don't know why the fuck there's a thousand concurrent watching right now over here, but fuck me, dude. I hope the Fortnite gameplay treated you well. <laughs> I'm going to use the whip right now and kill that woman. The best way to play games is to... Dude, you got to hit the gritty now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I think we can wind down now, probably. How long have we been at this? Three and a half hours. It's fucking 11 o'clock. It feels like three in the morning for me right now. Fuck me, dude. Uh, Next Poe yeah. was on earlier. Yeah, Next Poe is already here. I should change title. Um, Chillin'. 
Sniffer. Dude, Sniffer is my new favorite emote. I think we need a Sniffer in chat. But if I do that, everyone will just spam it every single time a woman appears on the screen. Um... Never, but you replace the F with cheese. Boom! Willie Mac retweeted my video. Let's see where we are with the video. Let me check the the milieu statistic. Um, I can turn off the thing. No one cares about you, fucking smaggle. Oh hey, Mama Max uh lost. He, he's now under seven twenty. Dude, that's awesome, bro. Great. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, you suck the fun out of everything, Nick. Bro, my video is half, not a half, it has a quarter of a million views. I'm very, very happy. Very happy that you guys revived my fucking YouTube channel. I am blown away. Did you think it was going to go well? I fucking told you in DMs I always thought this video was going to be good, dude. I was hoping you were going to say no, I thought you sucked. But no, you did say that. That was something you did say. Yeah. I did. I'm gonna go. Uh, right. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Hail Satan. Um, Jessix. Hi, Nick. Good video. Please make more videos. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Who's here? Oh, it's Smaggle. Why are you back? Kill. Um. Minecraft. Yeah. Kill Minecraft. That's. That's what I said. Those were my words. Um, bruh. This is actually kind of for Jack Wojak Among Us. Yo, do you guys want to see a video that I think is really good? And I'm like really... Um, Queen interrupt me. Just to let you know, the idea that Pablo Sunny might not exist in regards to next post allegations don't make sense. Like, given that the username is linked to a specific person who was a YouTuber and a musician at the time... His career collapsed due to the allegations Slimey, that Weasley, next fuck. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. All right, Queeman, sorry about that. I was unaware. but Because I, I, I don't know what Max it might... Oh, my God, KX. One last thing. The hundreds and hundreds minors of girls, Spencer said, is bullshit. I can confirm through my former colleagues that Camden does not have a federal interest file, nor investigation open. You didn't hear it from me. Bye. KX. I don't know what you do, brother, but you are... Um, a very very generous person i appreciate your humble support i do not know what i did to deserve such a nice audience jesus fuck dude you guys are great i'm sorry i don't sound like super hyped or anything because i'm probably Slimey, gonna Weasley, hit the pillow fuck. and fucking pass out one last thing that and one hundreds and one hundreds of minor girls Spencer said as BS. Oh, God. I can You're confirm probably... to my former colleagues that Camden does not have a federal interest file nor investigation open. Just a heads you up. You didn't hear it from me. You're Bye. probably not going to hear from me for a few days because I'm going to probably hunker down and get shit done. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. I don't know if I'm... I might stream next week if I'm feeling like taking a little break from what I'm doing, but I got a lot of shit going on in the works right now. All right, we're back. All right, I'm thinking I'm back. Okay, I'm gonna, let's play that terrible... I don't, I'm not going to play the clip. That's a little much. I actually do want to show you this banger meme, though. Um, uh, so I'm trying to get hip with uh, with the Turkey Tom lingo. Okay, dude? All right. Listen, Turkey Tom is on the up and up. Okay? So we have to understand the kinds of memes he likes. Otherwise, we can't we can't go forward, you know? Dude, Turkey Tom is, uh, is going to be our lifeline here. So we have to all understand why this joke is funny. Okay? Um, here. Wait, hold on. Wait, let's replay this. Dude, this is this is what a joke is now. Bro, how the fuck did he do that? Wait, wait, hold on. I gotta see that again. That's actually insane. Wait. Dude, least based Asian? Seems Destiny is interested in your content. I don't know if he's interested in my content. It seems like he was generally interested in the story. He didn't seem like overly hyped or whatever to talk about. I mean, I'm very, I'm very grateful that he took the time to watch my video, especially all the way to the end. That was like really fucking cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to let my ego get too big, but, um, but it was really cool. 
Wall you out one three three seven. Hi Nicholas and everybody. Hello. I doodled Max with a gun. I no, I don't want to. You can send it to me on Twitter, but I'm not going to show it. Um, on screen. But thank you. Uh, half fake podcast return. Maybe. All right. Watch this banger meme chat. This is this is why we're all here. All right. Look at this. Dude, he drugs this woman. Watch him drug this woman. Bro, it's Camden Gerard Davis. Whoa! Uh-oh, she's joining the cult! This is so creepy. What is this? Is that not the creepiest shit you've ever seen? Bro, dude, it's Camden, Gerard, Dave. Oh wait, we're holy fuck! What happened? We're about to. Well, there's four alive, and there's one of them, and I'm getting shot. Wait, what the fuck, dude? How are we? I literally wasn't even paying attention in this game. How the fuck did we make it this far? Okay, we gotta hunker down here. I haven't gotten a single win on stream in this entire Max investigation. Should I call this day three and post this vod, or you think I should? I'll just leave this one public i don't think we said anything bad i'll just cut music tomorrow and it'll stay public what are you oh your boy hit him your boy hit him give me that motherfucker bro where you go where you go little bro oh my god Fuck! Okay, I suck at this game, bro. I'm so bad. Why am I so bad at this fucking game? Bro, what the fuck? Wall. <laughs> Super Saiyan Doc on the radio. Best DS game that isn't Pokemon. Uh, Mario 64 DS is my go-to. Um, that's probably not a good choice. Bro, I got completely shit. Nick just doesn't understand the Ohio guy. Gat. 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 Gotta gat. Oh, dude. Bro, I'm gonna get off and play fucking Blazing Eights. No, I can't. I can't do that. No, I gotta go to sleep after this. Uh, ever play the PS Vita? Bro, I'm not even kidding you. I modded my PS Vita, put a bunch of fucking games on it, and then modded my PS TV, and I never turned them on again i am not joking i have never used them after i modded them <sighs> no blazonates why are you watching chris aren't you supposed to be hanging out with with the chad gamer squad <laughs> Should I join the spice pit and ask Queeman questions? Smaggle. Where do you play Blazing Eights? What the fuck, dude? Hey, can you, Chris, can you ask Core to let Smaggle into the group chat? And Smaggle join. <laughs> Vita is okay if you're into weeby stuff. Kind of underrated system. I'm pretty sure it's fairly underrated. I just haven't played any of the games. Uh, it's kind of funny to see how Max became Illuminati status overnight. Dude, Blair will always be much more personal. For me. I hate Blair so much, dude. Holy shit balls. Hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. I should read what he wrote before I say that. Uh, next poll. I'd like to address something that may be wondering since there's so much overlap. The situation has been unfolding lately regarding Mamba Max and some unethical practices have been employed with his latest video. I'd like to, on the record, state that I fully disavow everything he's done, the situation, and him being a mess. I tried to give him advice on how to navigate it properly. And got him. Okay. I've cut ties with him completely. Some people I thought I consider a friend. Is he going to address any of the other stuff? Is anyone affected by this friendship or support of Max? I apologize. All right, I'm not gonna. All right, I was gonna DM him, but he didn't say anything about the fucking other stuff, so I'm not. 
Um, here. There you go. Queeman. Oh, how's it going? What did you think, buddy? Yeah, did you see? Uh, We're still live. I'm still live, by the way. I joined the general chat. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I did see uh, what you wrote me. Nick, yeah. can I make it just a quick recommendation? Jump into Spice Pit Live. Just so nobody's a dickhead about it. I just kind of want to see what happens. We're risking it tonight. We're, we're playing hard. We're playing risky, all right? Okay. Okay. Like Fifty relax. people join. If I see a bunch of people join immediately, I'll just bail. I got my finger on the trigger. All right, fair enough. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> next poet comes off pretty bad to me. There, I'm not gonna lie. Did you see what it, I was of... confused about though? Like that one thing when he was like, uh, yeah, 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 with the character testimony. Yeah, did it, you... it did seem like he was saying that it was a general character testimony. Though I will say, it's a little bit weird to be like. Oh yeah, I'm just issuing a character testimony for this one accuser when there's like five coming forward at the same time. I, I would feel like, oh, okay, you're kind of, by doing that for his response, you're kind of lending some credibility to his story in regards but to I the other ones. But I thought when he was saying well. that at first, he was like, yeah, I saw it was a fucking terrible relationship. So then yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I issued a statement saying it was great. Yeah, yeah. I'm a... <laughs> I didn't like the reframing as well. There was a lot of sort of, oh yeah, what what did he say? Oh, I felt really depressed because of all the abuser stuff. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, that was did... before I got in there. I, I that, called that's... that out on my stream too. Yeah, it's a very strange thing to to say in regards to that. I don't know what else he said really. Though. But so um... Pablo Sunny is a real human being. Like he's a real person. Well, yeah. So well, I mean, I don't know if we don't know. I don't know what the evidence that Pablo Sunny is the guy that Max says he is was, but. Pablo Sonny, Max, directly links. He says, it's this guy who goes by these other usernames. This is his legal name. You know, like, he, he makes it full docs is the guy. And this was a YouTuber at the time, apparently, who went by Ham's son and had, like, a sort of a, a little bit of a burgeoning career and had, like, a Samsung Galaxy ad that he did. And then oh it all sort God. of collapsed because of because of Max's allegations. I've heard people say as well that some of his videos were sort of similar in style to Max. I can't verify that part, but I do know. But obviously, that this Ham Sun guy—that's who Max pegs as as Pablo Sonny. Wait, and, Max pegged yeah, him. But, but yeah, Max pegged him. He pegged him good, honestly. <laughs> we pegged him. We fled to Mexico. We pegged him. <laughs> I like how he said he went to. He's in the Philippines. Last we checked, and I talked to him. He's like, yeah, he could have gone to the Philippines. He's got family there. Yeah, it's. He just lies about but, everything. He's just so, a so yeah. Next po just yeah. Compl next po repeated this just uncritically. Do you agree with what like, I said about Mudahar? I don't know if you heard what I said. Uh, no, I didn't hear you say it. Well, I think the difference between because I mean, other, oh, there are going to be a shitload of apologies. I was told just now that um, Nux gave an apology or something. He didn't. He didn't. He, he didn't, didn't give an apology. I was told no, he addressed no, that's it on a total the podcast. Lie. So yeah, they they had like a. So there's like a 12 minute section of a podcast or something where they're sort of just like talking about the Camden Gerard Davis case that was recorded before Nux and Muta had private calls with Max and their sort of perspective changed a bit. So there's a statement at the beginning of the podcast where they're like, oh, listen, we're not, we're not so sure anymore about Max or we're not so sure we're waiting for more things to come out, but it's getting worse by the day is basically like the statement. And that, that's it. <sighs> Nux, even in there, he's like, I want to think the best of Max, but I'm just not so sure. It, there's nothing about Magnetar, nothing about okay. previous. So that hasn't happened you know, yet. Yeah, or no, if they do it, I think, you, I think the the conversation happened before you, you and um, Muda had a call with them. Yeah, yeah. So that like, call changed everything. Like things would be bad for him right now, but I mean, I told this to my stream earlier. I don't know if you know this, because like, I, I feel like I have to drive this home. He said all of that knowing we were recording him. Yeah, that's he was not totally blindsided. Insane. Like. I mean, he knew that we were recording the call. Well, you see him like spaz out like a child. It, it sort of gave me um. Do you remember Richard Spencer's leaked call where he's screaming like, "I win! I win! They, they lose. Lose. Yeah, I actually have a video <laughs> yeah. that includes that. I have two videos on my channel that, that include excerpts from that call. So yeah, that it gave me when he's like saying to you guys, "Why is it my fault?" Like that. That I got flashbacks to that, and yeah. then hearing some of that slug leak earlier as well, where he's like saying, "I can cancel you, Charlie." I'm just like, I'm just like, dude. Now, like the was same that, did he just play type. a soundbite, or was that from a full call? That's like, from a full. Apparently, I'm. I was told he was leaking the full call, but I'm not entirely sure. 
Okay, um, now I understand how it so feels like. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that sucks. Because <laughs> you just played like a random clip, and it's just like the most damning thing ever. But it's Angry Slug, who's also the least fucking... Like, <laughs> this guy literally reached out to me for a statement, leaked all my DMs, realized he lost, begged me for a job a week later on the LolCow podcast, took a job from Mama Max instead, stabbed him in the back, and leaked all of his shit. That is the guy's yeah, arc over yeah. the last month. This guy just right. literally j- finds people, talks to them, leaks everything, goes on to the next guy off the clout he got from the last guy. Sounds kind of based. <laughs> it sounds like he's winning. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, he looks like a real winner. That's the vibe like Afro. <laughs> Dude, that's the thing like with Slug. Winner. I don't know. He looks like he's he's weathered, dude. That guy, he looks so young and full of life. I, I heard he, he claims he's in like his mid-20s. I don't, I don't believe that. You for know a how second. we found him? Uh, is it from the Chris Hansen stuff? He or? worked for Chris Hansen. Yeah. Yeah. Before we found him. Yeah, that's and then true. he leaked everything about Chris Hansen. <laughs> I mean, that whole Chris Hansen arc was just like such a clusterfuck. Like, I, I barely followed him. Do you remember just... when Chris Hansen did a whole live stream saying we have re-victimized women? And it's like, Max, this is not the first time I've gone up against this exact argument. And people <laughs> bigger than you have tried to say it. So, yeah. I mean, you're welcome to try. I, what Chris Hansen couldn't do, I'm sure you'll be able to finish. And and Muda and Slug were involved in that one too. Dude, yeah. all of his friends. Nexpo. I'll tell you one thing though. Nexpo issuing a public statement is a big fucking deal, whether we like it or not. You know what I mean? It, it's just it's such a weak public statement though. It, like, I just it's it's a weak public it. statement in terms of discussing his own actions, but it's a fucking death nail to Max's credibility. Well, yeah, but Max mm-hmm. is like at this point, Max is done. Like I, yeah, I, I don't Max is any done. Joy, any, How, any but do you think that the there are people Max, who follow like... Nexpo on Twitter who haven't seen any of these videos? But uh, yeah, guaranteed, it has totally reached more people than before. I guess, but I mean, as far as I, I'm, I'm concerned, like you know, dude, Max Queeman, is full you look at this the wrong way. No more, you look at no this like, like this was done. a month old story. It's not. Well, this... to me, it is a month old. No, story. that's the yeah, point. That's the you look at it like it's a month old story. This drama is brand new. This is. We're yeah, on like day five, right. yeah. okay? The rest of the internet just started looking this shit up. It's going. It's probably got a two week cycle, to be honest. If we're being honest here, this this I, drama I mean, probably really does two, have a two, I think week, two cycle. weeks. Is, is like you know that's underestimating. I think Max is going full lockout and he'll be responding to this for uh, until he dies. Yeah, I'm just saying for based Spencer. off of what's publicly available, it will be in the it'll be in the news yeah, oh, for yeah, like yeah, two yeah, more yeah, weeks. Sure, 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 and sure, all of us yeah. are like, oh my yeah. god, I'm so fatigued, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm literally about to fucking pass out standing up because I've been doing so much shit with this story yeah. all week and working. Mm-hmm. But like, fuck me, dude. Like we we literally ha- like Trud's like, I don't want to cover this anymore. Well, dude, you're gonna be covering this for two more weeks. Like I'd Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean that was my reaction. Like the the moment Slug started leaking DMs, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna have something for tomorrow at least. Like there's gonna be and at least five on, more on videos, and then there's gonna be like, like, oh thank fuck, yeah, thank fuck. <laughs> oh god, I didn't want to do anything about Max, and I turned into a whole Max stream. I I, I really just got to do like ultimate rape review footage, foot oh. fetish guy to get off this fucking subject. Jesus. <laughs> Who else has contributed you... to stuff for for any of Max's videos? I'm sorry, can I gotta raise your volume? Can you repeat that? Who else is there who contributed stuff for any of Max's videos who hasn't made a statement yet? Ah, oh, fuck. I, I, Nexpo is the biggest one, but there's another guy who was in the IMVU video, and I don't remember. Well, I know, like, I know that Max has done stuff for, with other people. I know he worked with um, Blame It On Hoge, but it was for one of Blame It On Hoge's videos. But he's another guy who's got, like, 1.7 million subs. Like, there's, there's other guys who probably should be making statements. You, the, the best place to go is to go look in the Pick Aside YouTube video, because that was the one where he had all the big YouTubers in it. Uh, the thing so is, Turkey there, there are a lot of people that Expo, were, yeah. Mudahar, and I'm assuming... That, the other two guys are gonna do. I'm. I have to assume Leon and uh, and dumb fuck VTuber retard is gonna say something at some point. Hands. There were a lot of people that were in the videos, but like, it, it's like one thing to be like Turkey Tom and be paid like a hundred dollars to appear in the video for five seconds or whatever, and say, oh wow, yeah, Peter's a bad guys. That's like one thing. But then it's a different thing when you're like Mood to Hard Nux or Nexpo, yeah. who are like repeating specific pedo allegations and back in, it was speaking specifically to Max's credibility. You know, isn't it kind of crazy like, that Xander Hall hasn't said anything about this? That's great. Xander Hall's silence on this is frankly. It's sickening. deafening. It, I, it's all, in my opinion, I, I, I think, think you it's might be with the pedos, his... honestly. I'm starting to consider. <laughs> Wait, I just punched my mic by accident. Fuck. Doesn't Xander Hall have a video on? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making it up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, okay. Uh, <laughs> dude hassan piker oh, yeah, yeah, addressing got, yeah, his yeah, allegations yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. dude hassan piker was literally in the brothels okay he's not addressed them for <laughs> camden gerard davis yet <laughs> jesus 
God. Where, yeah, Jay Aubrey will make a video on this. Does Jay Aubrey still make content, chat? Uh-huh. Yes. Jesus. Yeah. In 2019, I stole his transition pack and never looked back. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> Dude, every YouTuber stole Jay Aubrey's transitions. And then John Swan gave me more of them when we were doing our Deji thing, and I just incorporated them into my de- like my normal thing. Oh, dude, I plagiarized. What do you think of N Bomber yeah. Guy? N Bomber Guy. Is that different to H Bomber Guy? Or is that uh <laughs> Oh no, I meant H Bomber. My apologies. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I mean I was actually talking to someone about this the other night. I was talking to a, a you know Beckett, I think. Beckett of crabs, yes. Yes, yes. Why is he of crabs? What, what is that? Is that I'm not mean? sure. I'm not sure what the deal that is. Everyone in his Discord has a crab themed name. Do you mean very... like? Does, but does he mean crabs as in like the, the sea creature? Or yeah, I think so. Like well, I mean, he's with Stardust, so I can't, I can't be sure. But... <laughs> Damn, we're gonna linger on that yeah. one for a while, guys. <laughs> Let's just, you're just letting that one sit in there. Oh man. Yeah, that's uh letting it hang. What else is going it's on? okay, he's used to being roasted on stream, so I am with Dusty. Dude. I Here's wonder what what has Nick. happened. Oh yeah, what's up? Did you uh did you reach out to Stardust or did she reach out to you? Oh, oh I reached out to her. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just wondering. We're on friendly terms. I know this. This is not the. No, no, you're not there. anymore. Not anymore. Wait, is she mad at me? Uh, no, no, no. I don't know. You shouldn't be being seen talking to Queen in public. You know? Oh, I'm just saying. I don't know the lore. I mean, so I just don't get on. Okay. I, I mean, you're in this. I shouted you out in the video she was in. So I mean, I don't. I feel like she would have said something if she had a problem with it. She watched it on stream. Yeah, I think they're just. I think they're just taking the piss. Queeman, everyone tells me that you're just gonna like you're literally like probably the worst person to talk to because one day you're gonna go AWOL and completely hate every single person in this community. That's not that's not true at all. What the fuck? <laughs> Who's saying that? <laughs> I'm very loyal, actually. I'm incredibly loyal. Uh, Don't trust Queeman. him. He is a red coat. Was Nick on your list? Was Nick on your list? What list? <laughs> it doesn't matter. No way. Well, what the the list for show episodes? No, I don't think so. I don't think I. That was all Twitch poll people. That was Dude, me. I was I I went on panels. I was on an all black everything one time. Okay, that's not true, but um, I you were on a few Stardust Supernovas, right? I was on the Supernovas. Yes, that's what I was yeah. on. I did the Supernovas. And Staying I, on your reputation. And what yeah. happened to that other guy? He did like a drinking podcast. A drinking podcast. It was a politics guy on Twitter. Dude, all the politics oh, oh, guys are oh, gone. John Burke. John Burke. Yeah, John no, Burke. not yeah, yeah. him. No. Uh, it was an Australian. It was guy. another drinking panel. Yeah, it was like no, it, was, oh, it wasn't a Spectre. I, is that I, you mean? No, no. Uh, Wait, no, that was um. I, I think he literally had a U in his name. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, Coruscant or something. Yes, like that. yes. Is that guy yes. alive? Uh, I don't know. I've got no idea. I did his show one time. So he, no, he was friends with Spectre. It was him. And, those two had a show together. I almost yeah. started a podcast with Dylan Burns once. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. He's demonetized on YouTube and will be for at least another six months, I believe. I feel bad uh, for yeah. him. Yeah. April 20. Uh, yeah. It's, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. It's about six months. Yeah. I mean, it's his editor's fault that he was posting like insane shit. What like, was he posting on it? it just like, it, they, they were just going hard on the Ukraine shit. Like, I think they were like close to. I don't want to say specifically what they were posting because I don't want to get it wrong and be retarded. Dude, I, I found the VOD where lives. Coach Red Pill called me before he died to tell me he was on a Ukrainian kill list. <laughs> okay, do we actually know that he's dead? Or is it just his dad telling Tucker Carlson? Oh, Coach Red Pill yeah. is not dead. He yeah, will no, rise from the ashes like a phoenix, okay? Because, like, but it, he might been be dead, dead a few times now. Yeah, he's been dead a few times, but evidence of his yeah. death has not been presented. I need to see a body. It's like uh, a Yeah, movie. exactly. I see his corpse. For, like, like, I saw Scarlet um, Witch die at the end of one of the new Marvel movies, but I'm sure she'll be back, okay? Very based. Dude. You're a big Marvel fan, aren't you, Nick? I was a big Marvel fan when it was better. <laughs> I just see you post. I just making Marvel analogies all the time. Dude, I really cannot wait for Talking the Deadpool like a predator. movie. Oh, wait, man. wait, what do you mean about? Wait, hold on, what? Predator? I said talking like a talking like a predator. Oh, dude, I I it's am a, I'm a huge warrior. redditor, dude. Do you know how much content there is to make fun of people on Reddit? 
Holy oh, fuck, scary. dude. I literally follow all the correct subreddits, and then I go down my home feed and look for someone to bully. I have farmed so many likes off of the H3H3 subreddit over the years. It, no, if you haven't realized, okay, our destiny is the new RH3H3, okay? There's, the sort of stuff that people post on that is insane. Do you know Jstalk? No. So Jstalk is like some, he's like a DGG who started up like some late night panel show to basically follow Destiny's stream where he brings on like whatever women Destiny's been fucking recently oh. to argue with each other for a few hours every night. Mm -hmm. And this guy, like, so so he brings on Kelly Jean and Kelly Jean makes a comment about like this new girl Destiny seeing having bad tattoos and looking unwashed. And this guy makes like two novel length Reddit posts about how Jstalk is letting, you know, Kelly abuse women on his stream and all this sort of shit and it creates like a week week of drama and arguments mm -hmm. off the back of this these massive subreddit posts about basically just someone saying a couple of mean comments on a live stream at one point <clears throat> it's totally uh, insane excuse me uh queeman uh De nichols diorio does know who jay stalker is he hasn't blocked on twitter <laughs> oh based that Very doesn't based. necessarily mean anything to be honest he was the one that made that comment for the ss sniper wolf and oh, like, oh wait no i actually reason. do know who that is because we literally found yes. out we, we did actually earlier this week <laughs> we actually found out who he was okay no i'm i'm caught up now no we because I, I didn't know who he was then we we had to look him up and then we found out what tweet it was and the, yeah okay no i'm caught up yes got it <laughs> got it yeah, yeah i thought that guy was a fucking idiot is he good should i unblock uh him? he's okay he's okay he's okay he can't be an idiot he's a bit of a you know he's a destiny fan so what do you expect all right, I used to be racist toward Europeans. Can you defend yourself? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're we're better than you, and you should Dude, uh, just. Being racist toward okay. Europeans is like the equivalent of Max turning around and being like, "Guys, I hate pedophiles." I hate pedophiles. Yeah, I think literally, it's the, same, it's the same. It's the literally like it's the same level of wow. That's so cool. Well, it, so I feel like everyone should have gotten a wake up call when they saw Red Pagan the other day spouting off about I oh, I hate Anglo's. I hate Anglo's. Dude, that was so funny. He was just like Chud Logic is racist and transphobic. By the way, he's a fucking stupid Irish mop. Like, whoa, what the fuck, dude? Holy shit! <laughs> this guy went went super racist. Like, I don't know. I mean, oh, this girl just went super racist. I don't know. Why. Jesus, you good? Mm. Um, oh, that was an accent. That was a genuine accent. What the spoon? Jesus. I'm, I'm going to get in trouble for that one now. Fuck. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm yeah you're on the uh, list now, Nick. Bullied that person off the internet anyway. That's uh, amazing. Uh, wait, did they delete all their shit? They apparently deactivate the Twitter, yeah. Jesus. Oh, I, I actually, um, in the... Uh, did you actually watch their interviews with the victims or not? I tried. I jumped in there. I was trying to ask a question because I wanted confirmation that if um, Kai had gotten money after she was begging for diaper money and, right. and not getting the fucking yes. month's so, worth of salary, I guess, that she was supposed to be receiving. In that Kai interview, Red Pagan claims to have taken down a trafficking ring that was trafficking trans kids for snuff films. Wait a minute, dude. He has more confirmed kills than Mama no, Max, dude. No, no, I looked into it, okay? It's like a whole other grift called Midnight Productions that was ran by, like, Jason Unruh and shit, where basically they took, they took a couple of, like, Reddit posts by target individuals, you know, the gang-stalking people yeah. or, in, in Arizona talking about this trafficking ring. They took a couple of those, used them to build, like, a whole narrative about this Hells Angels-affiliated trafficking ring that was trafficking trans kids and killing communists for snuff films and all this stuff. And then Red Pagan makes a little documentary that's, like, 20 minutes long where she just reads a couple of Reddit posts and makes up a bunch of shit. But the oil bounces off of other people making up a bunch of shit, including, like, the, this apparent massacre that happened of 27 people but went totally unreported by anyone and the police were involved in it. And all this shit, just, like, the most insane schizophrenic stuff you've ever heard. And they then they cite this to this victim as like, oh, you know, I took down this human trafficking ring. Yeah, it's totally insane. It's just, I spent two hours just going through this whole thing because I was like, is there anything to this whatsoever? Is does this ring? Dude, I just think she's fucking it, mentally ill. It was for it nothing. Be online. It was for nothing. Am I wrong? Like, I mean, I just think this is. She's just like not how, how common these these like trafficking ring expose grifts are. Because even Jason Unruh is like running one. I don't know if you know who Jason Unruh is, but he's like a commie small commie influencer who one time he accidentally showed a fallout 4 sex mod on stream oh god that happens a lot why do these people install <laughs> sex mods in their video games 
<laughs> this happened in like a uh, I posted it's one of my top videos or whatever on Twitter of like a gaming tournament where the guy forgot to turn off his Chun-Li nude mod while he was shout like he was casting the game like so it was, it was sh being shown through his perspective uh, while two people were playing and it was just like a naked character on screen and the guy's like whoa I didn't see that skin get released and he's just like oh oh <laughs> he's trying to frantically get it off but it was like Jesus. the play-by-play -play announcer got like he was just dumb he's a stupid person uh <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Queeman. Yep. Who do you think had the best apology so far at the start of the year? At the start? What do you mean? Uh, what, out of the Mama Max ones? Uh, or... um, well, Mama Max doesn't have any fucking apology. Well, but, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean the, the Nick, one Nick, him, yeah. Nick is not so green. Mudahar, because oh, I think Nick is actually... not green. I had the best apology. Yeah, it was the best <laughs> apology. It just happened to be his eighth terms... apology. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, he had lots of practice, like you know, he, got, he expected to be good. He was just was, like testing you know? it out. He goes, "All right, so they liked when I said that. All right, if I take part one and part three, um, what does Chat GPT think I should say?" <laughs> but no, That's... honestly, as far as apologies go, like that is the best written, at least uh, for his situation. That is the best. Those are the best combinations of words he could have said. It may have taken him a few times to get there, but that is the best thing he could have said. It will be borne out by his actions, obviously, but. You know, yep. he, he yeah, took well. more. Mutar obviously probably did more substantively to fix the situation. But I think Muta dropped things, literally but... everything, and then I mean yeah. he's planning on trying to help these girls privately without like doing it for money and attention. And he's he's begging them to reach out to him. We were talking about it privately. He seems to have a decent plan, I guess. Mm. Oh, and he uh, drops money into the Magnetar GoFundMe. I'll uh, I'll shut up. Magnetar is not suing anybody. <laughs> I... I mean, he was a. Uh, you know how much fun? How, yeah, he's entertaining the idea until he finds out it's a five-year-long fucking court. Battle. Well, yeah, yeah. It's That's no, the only thing no that I was thinking was, was, was I don't know if he wants to really, um, you know. How yeah, much money to... he's already spent, probably, dude. I don't know. Nobody wants to be in a long court battle over fucking yeah. stuff like this, and he's I mean, the, he's the one who's gotten lost the most in this situation. So exactly. he's the most possible yeah, that's, that's... to do something about it, but. I think people should support him if he goes for it, but me personally, I don't know if I was in that situation. I don't know if I would uh Did you see want uh to drag this out any longer? Did you see Destiny's reaction today? Uh no, I I don't I try to avoid watching Destiny's stream these days. The honest. biggest poll that I got from it is people were asking him, Do you think this guy's redeemable? And he thought about it for a second, he's like, Nah, fuck no, dude. This guy's this guy's done. This guy should not come back. I, I would uh <laughs> I would love to see Destiny go back and watch his old reaction to the Believe All Abusers video and Max release. Well, that came up. That came up. And, that came up. They played Chud Logic, Logic. Logic and he took a, he took a big swipe at Chud Logic. I think, all right, maybe this is nuclear, okay? But I think that we should set up a conversation and Chud Logic should debate Destiny on the terms of the abuse. Slimy, <laughs> Dude, it'll be the main event, okay? It'll be the main event of URR for the day, all right? It'll be the main. It'll be the pay per view, okay? Only it's free. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Destiny's uh kind of. Yeah. Dude, ultimate rape. Debate. Oh, we're paying for a debate. Dude, ultimate right. rape debate, dude. <laughs> I I did like Mr. Girl's response to your tweet. Do you like? I think I, it was a little long winded though. I don't know. I. Fuck, I just it read to me like somebody who doesn't really understand the situation. I just I think there's a huge difference between the content machine eating another person who's mentally ill and a guy who's been faking investigations for five years. I, I think I think the point he was making was fine, but the thing is that he said some it, retarded shit. Like, what what do you say? It was like, well, oh, without YouTube, this person probably would have been totally normal. He's like, well, no, we know he wouldn't have been because we know what he yeah, was like before YouTube, and he was like, still a fucking psycho. Well, it's <laughs> like when Max turns around and he goes, well there's a shocking number of stories that get ignored for a reason or another in favor of useless stories nobody like that nobody should care about but they do all right yeah i'm sure there's tons of stories about abused children that get brushed under by mainstream media and stuff like that maybe because they look a certain way or they're a certain religion or they don't fit or they're not from a fucking wealthy area i'm sure this is a problem okay but it's not a problem when you're investigating a vampire werewolf pedophile ring. If you have any evidence of this stuff, you have a million view video sitting in your pocket if you're choosing to go to the internet with it. So it's like, yeah, that's an okay argument. It just doesn't apply to what we're talking about. And it's the same thing what Mr. Girl said, right? It's like, yeah, sure. I mean, I guess like, obviously the social media machine like drives people crazy. You can't like manage this or whatever. You're a so everyone's fucking sociopathic if they're doing it well. Otherwise, they'd be gone already. But like. In this specific instance, this guy just really 
deserved it and like fucked himself and was super malicious and super bad faith and stuff and he was for like the entirety of his career if there's anything i took from the nexpo conversation it's that he's been very secretive of his work and i wonder why that was it's because it's not real and he needs yeah. that facade to be real to form the money off those fucking kids you know? It really is honestly the most sickening graft in the world because it's just like you're targeting raped kids. That is your target audience. Yeah. You are just, you are so fucked, Bill. Uh, it's just totally insane as well. Like in that response that he put out on Patreon, like uh, the one last night or whatever, he's like the the shit he's saying literally describes him, like about um. Where Mill you control, mill you control, dude. Robert <laughs> J. Foster says mill you control, dude. It's the top, the top five things, dude. This guy posted it. Yeah, so what, what does it say? Everyone seeking guidance and truth are increasingly entrusting their beliefs to destructive influencers, mistaking their manipulative messages for authentic information. This dangerous dynamic is exacerbated by parasocial relationships, where followers elevate the words of their favorite online personalities to an almost sacred status. In this environment, where lies are often indistinguishable from truth, followers find themselves compelled to extreme actions, including harming the innocent, under the influence of those they perceived as their virtual gods. This is your community, dude. This, that's who you're that's your yeah. fucking the, the one that you've been sicking on people for the last three years yeah that's you dude you're, but the, to type that out and for anyone to even for a second look at that and think anything other than wow this guy's a complete fucking psycho is just so insane to me alright I think I'm gonna cut it off there it's been a good shot but I'm fucking falling asleep and it's yeah, not your fault right it's cause I <laughs> just haven't slept all week so I'm fucking I'm out thank you guys for right, the chat catch you later. peace alright chat Oh, I think we're done. I just... Yeah, oh, God, I can't do anymore. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, fuck. Thank you guys so much for all the cool stuff you guys have... I, I don't know how, I don't know what I'm saying there. All right, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for, for supporting the comeback or whatever. Thank you for being cool on both of them, I guess, because this channel's popping off, too. Uh, hopefully, new video next week. Uh, that's the plan. Big project after that with two intermittent re-uploads of videos that aren't currently on my main channel. Okay, um, leak will come, but asking is going to delay it one day every time someone asks. So you can make it better or worse for Max, depending on how you do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I have a plan. See ya. Thank you for all the donos and stuff. Let me make sure I didn't miss anybody. Uh, I don't see anything. Endless memes gave me $2. Thank you so much. All right. Peace.